Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 homebrew, and tonight 8-bit homebrew as well. We're going to be playing three 8-bit homebrew games. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. The XEGS. Yay! <laughs> with the ABG cart. Woo! Uh, they are, two of them are familiar. One of them is Peril by VHZC. But this is the 8-bit version. I'm very excited. I'm yes. very excited to play any of VHZC's games. So. Yes, they're yeah, all amazing and fun. Yep. And when he ports them to other systems, they're always a little bit different. They mm. handle a bit differently. The screens look different. Sometimes the mazes are a little bit different. Uh, we're also going to be playing RGB, a color-based robot shooter. Mm. Platformer. Puzzler kind of thing. Uh, we're also going to be playing... Bosconian Yay! on the 8-bit. I'm so is a, excited. Which is a homebrew. So many good games today. So this ties into two games. Yeah. This is VHZC shirt. Yes. And we're playing Bosconian. Yes. <laughs> Not by VHZC. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Uh, and the Bosconian's from 2020, RGB's from 2015, yeah. and Peril's from 2019. Uh, and Peril's still a work in progress. He hasn't updated it in a while. But uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Uh, who help support the show, whose names are down that side. 8-Bit Swami, Alan Furrier, Arbs, Gar, Coder, Atari, B.R. Pocock, Buck Owens, Captain Man, 2D, Catalogs, Charles Wheel, and Chive 5, Coconut 81, Dianoid, Dan, FC, Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cows, Vap, Beavis, Great Defender, Ground, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Jedekai, Johnny, WC, One, Yorota, Carl, G, Kev, Kelly, Mark, Space, Inc., Mike, Solmus, Command, MK, Smith, Mr. Zarna, Woop, Mr. Fix, Nathan, Strum, Nyan, Dare, Nyan, Dare, Packrat, VG, Kalog, RC70, Rendered, Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo, Spam, Ricardo Pym, Six Sweet, Spit, Spitty B, Smitty B. Oh my goodness. Uh, Socrates, Spiceware, <laughs> S. Ramirez, The D Train, Welshman89, Tiki Dan Cage, TM Events, Trek MD, X Ken X. So, what you need to do. You need to get a fan. More fans. Oh, I know. What you need it's to do hot. next is develop a, a game that just reads that out over the Atari da, da, box. Da, da, oh. <laughs> and that we'll might be, be a here, bit tedious. We'll be here for a little while, but I think that would that, be really cool. That would cool. be funny. <laughs> it would be cool. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll do that once. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to support the show and get your name in that list, mm. just sign up. Just subscribe to Twitch, and mm -hmm. uh, it's free if you have Amazon Prime, so... You know, you don't lose out in anything. Mm -hmm. uh, you get your name there. And you get me to uh, read it out terribly. Mm -hmm. um, you can also follow us on Twitch, like <laughs> Volt. Volt the Sami did just before the show. Or you can subscribe just like Cafe Man 2D did. Mm. Is his name already in the list? Yes, he resubscribed. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you. For 18 months now. And Miss Command says, and you wouldn't understand a single... Yeah. But I love that. I would just... I would just you know use that I, I put it like on my phone it would be like my phone People ringtone like, like what is it saying actually it's yeah it's yeah, funny name. yeah anyway uh and i want to thank all the people who tune in live mm -hmm. on twitch every tuesday and friday including these people nostalgic 26 crossbow cafe man 2d miss command pack rat vg unbibium mm -hmm. whose newish name mm -hmm. i guess dan if you see carl g uh, Marco Johannes, uh, who else? RC70, Vitoko 8 Bits, uh, and Splendid Nut, Al Nefer, uh, and everybody else who is lurking and not typing. Mm -hmm. Oh, and OceanX42, just in time. Wasn't Draconian an arcade game? Bosconian is the arcade game. Mm -hmm. Draconian up there, which I'll bring down when mm -hmm. we play, mm -hmm. is the 2600 version. Um, so Draconian is the name of the 2600 version that you might get, be make, getting mixed up with, mm. which is an excellent, excellent, excellent port yeah. of, of uh, Bosconian. Bosconian, which again, I've said before, James gets obsessed with when we go to the arcade. Oh, it's so good. You just, you're just so like, good. you find that arcade machine and he's there all night. So, yeah. Draconian yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bosconian, is, Bosco is a chocolate drink mix i believe oh really? i don't know the, the link or where where the name bosconian comes from yeah someone out there i'm Maybe sure we'll knows. look we'll look it up on wikipedia see if there's yeah. any um lineage what would you call that like where a word comes from that name i don't there's know there's a yeah. yeah there's a word for a word where words come from uh we do have a poll question tonight etymology 
Thank you. Etymology. Not entomology. Etymology. Uh, that would be the Etymology. study of uh, bugs, right? Entomology, yes. Yes. Uh, I took could, entomology in university. You actually. could have the yeah. etymology of entomology. There you go. <laughs> the study of where bugs' names come from. Yeah. Silly. Uh, there was a comment left on YouTube from last episode when we played Dragon's Descent, mm. which had the Atari box voice in it. Speaking of that. Um, and the person said, in relation to voices in games, I cannot think of a single classic game that is made better by voice. It's nothing more than a cheap gimmick. So I want to know what you guys think. Not in relation uh -huh. to classic arcade games, but in relation to homebrew and when they included it Homebrew in there. or just games? So say that again. What was the quote? He said, I cannot think of a single classic game so arcade games or you know games released on consoles Lies. that happen to have speech in, in television had speech and some 2600 games did um i gave him the example yes captain classic sinistar wizard of war uh bosconian impossible game, mission that's my one of mine, favorite I said. game on the commodore 64 i think has awesome like the Yes. The, the 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 speech I think is just so adds good. to it so much. It, like it, it creates the atmosphere for the game. Yeah. Um uh, what is it? Um Welcome. Oh, what did oh, you say? Uh good evening, stay a while, <laughs> stay. stay forever. And, and, and then get him my robot. No, destroy him. Destroy him, him my robot. Destroy him my And then robots. when you die he goes, Ah, ah ha, ha. when you fall down. Yeah, and then he goes, ah ha ha. ha. If you die, if you die in the game, like fully die in the game, and also sorry, Gauntlet, Personal as game. well, yeah, Gauntlet, um, and uh, also somebody also mentioned there, Man Goes Down, it has, so, I would Mango. say one of the best. <laughs> it is good use of Atari Vox in Atari uh, Twenty Six Hundred yes. Homebrew. Game. Yes, it's very yes, clear. Yes, yes. It's very appropriate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's the poll. Uh, let me put it up on the screen. So, uh, the question is, do you like Atari Vox speech in your homebrew? Mm. Uh, first answer is, love it. More games with speech. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, number two, don't care mm -hmm. either way, as long as I don't miss anything by not having it, which <laughs> would be pretty foolish to make a game where it relies on the speech because not everybody has one. Yeah. Uh, number three, annoying and doesn't add anything to the game. Um, I, I like it, especially I'm when it's one. done well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a one as well. Just saying, I don't know the arcade game to know if I, it had speech or it was good. And it's so oh, yeah. Other people are saying things. Gauntlet needs it. Gauntlet's helpful because it's like, Elf is about to die. Yeah. Wizard yeah. needs food badly. Yeah. Things like that. It's like, oh, it's I not am terrible. Low on health. It, it's actually that little like, like, blinking light that comes on. Like, oh yeah. no, you need to, you need to stop doing what you're doing right now. Yeah. Bosco is George Costanza's password. Yeah. That's is true. it? Yeah. It is. Oh. Um, his uh, pin uh, for the ATM. Really? <laughs> Not the pin number for the ATM machine. The pin for the ATM. I don't remember that. But... Because pin is personal identification number. So you wouldn't say pin number. It'd be personal identification number number. Yeah. And ATM is automated teller machine. So you wouldn't say automated teller machine machine. You don't say ATM machine. You would say pin number. Pin for your ATM. Anyway, just being semantic. What? What are you being semantic about? You don't say pin number because no, 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 no. pin already has numbers. It is not your logical it. argument. Well, Why did you start saying that, though? Just because people say it. People say pin number. Don't you hear that all the time, yeah, right? Yeah, but I just say pin. I'm arguing against an invisible person. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. My it brain is, is hot. melting. <laughs> it is. It's 28.5 in here right now. So if you see a Cheers. shine off of our faces, <laughs> yeah, remember, don't shoot food. Mm. Uh, Gorf, there we go. Uh, mail, news, and feedback. The um, There's been an enhancement to the plus cart. Okay. This, this plus cart. Um, is Al the fur in the chat? I think he is. Uh, so the plus cart, let me bring up what the post was about. Oh, of course. It resets my second monitor every time. It's not that big of a deal, but I need to switch it over. He said, posted yesterday, 
all messages sent to this Discord channel will also be sent to the PlusCart chat room. And all messages sent from PlusCarts to the PlusCart chat room will also be sent to the Discord channel. So he has linked uh, the PlusCart Discord channel to the chat that's on this cartridge because there was a chat which so, we demonstrated. Wait, wait, wait. So you can chat in Discord and you can also do it through... Over your Atari 2600. Oh my god, that is hilarious. And it, go, and it goes back and forth and you can chat in either one. So you can chat on your 2600. It goes to a, a one you can see on your computer. But uh, It's really cool. The plus cart chat though is, is a little more tedious to type in, I would it's assume. It's a little slow. <laughs> it's a little slow. But there's you something... Can get, you can go pretty fast. It's got a pretty good keyboard, but, but it's definitely slower than typing, yeah. But you would see the chat update on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, you see what people are typing. That's that's insane. Yeah, so this is getting more and more linked to the internet. I think that's hilarious. I love it. It's wonderful. I love it. It's so cool. Yeah. It's, um, it's, it's like it's realizing a like childhood fantasy, really. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Making it all <laughs> interconnected. Interconnected Ataris. Like IRC Atari. on the 2600. Here yeah. we come. Yeah. I mean, Discord IRC. is the new IRC. Yeah. Really. I, I haven't heard IRC being used in a long time. No. And I've no. been using it a long time. And Discord's taken over because of its association with gaming. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is on IRC on the 2600. The new IRC. Mm -hmm. uh, for us old people. <laughs> I miss That's ICQ why I, too. I like ICQ. ICQ. That was yeah, my the chat first, bot. The first big, big, widespread That's, chat. I was, yeah, it was yeah. ICQ. I, I still I, remember. I know my number from ICQ. Do you really? Oh, it's because I had a radio show and I would say it out every All the radio time? Show constantly. Really? So oh, okay. I still have it memorized. I do not have my ICQ. It's a six-digit number. You yeah. Know, it's low. low I just, I think of ICQ and Napster as just being interconnected because I, 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 that's, that was my era of... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Downloading a lot of music. A 2600 keyboard yeah. was made. Ah. Uh, it was called the Graduate. Uh, it is very, very rare. So good luck finding it. Um, but mm. I don't think it interfaces with the plus card at all. Oh, I see. I but, see. you know, if they make support for the Graduate on the plus card, then you could literally type on a keyboard, on a membrane That's keyboard. Crazy. Terrible membrane. Membrane? membrane? Yeah. Those are the flat ones where it's just kind of. Oh, I know. Push. Yeah, yeah. I know what those are. Oh, yeah. You put a question mark at the end of membrane. Well, why would it only work with a membrane keyboard? Is it because no, it they're USB? Oh, it is a membrane. Oh, keyboard. it is a membrane. It was made in the eighties, okay. when yeah. those were the cheapest things, and everything else was much more expensive. I work in labs, and we use something kind of like a membrane keyboard that we can clean. Well, yeah. And so, that so is when you said membrane, positive. that is what I thought of immediately. Was yeah, like a yeah. modern membrane keyboard. No, no, like, no. I know what you mean. I okay. That is the one I, plus of a membrane here. keyboard. I'm, I can't keep track of what we're, we're talking about. It's okay. Games are coming. Oh. Don't have to think of anything after games start. Playing. Yeah. Um. <laughs> there. Uh, I, now that I've been using the XEGS. Yeah. And I've been getting more and more into it. Now mm. we're, we're, we're playing games on it on the stream now. Um, the keyboard cable, which we might be using in some games, um, is very, very short. Mm. It's a foot. It's a foot long. It's terrible. Um, so I've been looking into extenders, and there was some conflicting information, minorly conflicting information about the keyboard extenders. Okay. Um it, I've read in the forums that 15 pin keyboard extenders, Work. which are ones for the 5200, for old PC joysticks. Mm -hmm. If you had really old PC joysticks, they were like wide. Mm. Um, and apparently also the Neo Geo used this. Mm. But I read that the Neo, you shouldn't be using a Neo Geo one because it has... They didn't explain why, but I'm guessing it has different pin um, wiring inside because one may not go to one, two may not go to two. Oh, um, but this listing says Neo Geo, Atari 5200, oh. and PC controller joystick extender cables. Yeah. And then another one is like just Neo Geo. Mm. And then another one's just 5200. So I'm like... You'd have to buy it and, uh, and test it out and see, which no, is a pain. No, 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 no. You don't test like that. No. Because one could be power, oh, and one could be data, crap. one could be ground. Yeah, okay. And I all see of a sudden, you've saying. got to fried something, 
and that's not what you want to do. Oh. Neo Geo might Ooh. not use all the pins. So might not have all the wires. That is something I'd not mm. thought of. Yeah, that's that's very true. Um, hmm. So if anybody has information, S solid solutions. link yeah. to which ones I should buy or which ones I should avoid, yeah. just put in YouTube or somewhere. Somewhere. On the forum or I don't know. Link to it here. Uh, it's hard for me to... Actually, yeah, if you link to it here, I can click it and keep it up on my screen. Um, am I the only one buffering? Well, mm -hmm. let me take a look. Oh, geez. Yeah. What's it's happening? bad tonight. Just started. Oh, no. You it's can in the type red. In it. What? You can, you can type something if you want. No, no, no. That's they not the hear? buffering. Oh. You see that's red? Yeah. That means the data stream is poor. Oh, shoot. The other day I had to reset the modem. Yeah. Um, because it was disconnecting. Oh no. Uh, so there is no solution. Oh, really. cause it's our, it's our, our. Most end. likely it's our end, not every single other person's end. Yeah. Yeah. And it went to zero. We are still recording on YouTube. Okay. So this will go onto YouTube. Okay. The bit rate is <clears throat> at like one thirtieth the speed right now. Yeah. Uh, Shoot. Is really the in the end. Mm. You can. You might want to say yeah. that we're having issues. Yeah, they might yeah. not be able to. It's our issue. <laughs> <laughs> they might hear it. <clears throat> Poor speed here. It's on our end. Should let's see. Should be three thousand three megabits per second. Bits per second. Megabits per second. Uh, is from 100 to 2,000. See, it's at 3,000 now. It's going back up? It's at 2. 2. So it's it's all over the place. Oh, no. I'm going to check my stream bandwidth. Yeah, it should be 3. So it's, it's not good. Hmm. Even the ad is buffering. Still stuck in the ad. Stuck on the ad. You shouldn't be stuck in the ad. I don't serve no. ads. <laughs> they serve ads. Yeah. Uh, none of this chat has even showed up on your screen. Oh, yeah, it has. It has on mine. So Chat seems to be way oh, ahead of, of the video. So they're not seeing even the video chat, which makes sense. It's going to, yeah, there's, yeah. If there's buffering, it has to get to me. Then it goes through there and yeah. then back to them. Oh, no. Is this, is this a good time to get another glass of wine, then? Uh, Do you want some water? No. Okay. <laughs> when I'm playing a game is the best time for okay. you to get wine. Okay. <laughs> not when I'm left alone. No, I'm not going to leave you alone. Everything. So what do you need? Do you need help? No, I can't I can't do anything. Oh, shoot. Uh, it's going up to, like, four. Okay, that's And good. then to three. No. But it still says red, which... Means is there, it's having trouble. It's not. It's not our delay the show. Um, no, full minute behind. Um, I mean, it, it's saying four, five megabits per second. So it's catching up. Okay, good. It might even out. We're we're gonna keep going. I mean, uh, the people watching could stop and and reconnect, right? <laughs> Gives it that ninety six hundred baud retro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Woo, retro. Oh, it's it's powering now. Is it? Yeah. It's okay, up to good. six megabits per second, so I think it's catching up. So something weird happened there. Yeah. <laughs> the 9600 pod. Yeah, we should try that sometime. Going up to six megabits per second now. Looks like it's catching up. Might be okay. We'll power through. Okay. We're going for it. If they're behind... Restart your stream. Restart, yeah, restart your stream. Yeah. Yeah. Restart your stream if you're behind. Yeah. Oh, it's going yellow. It's gone green. I think we're good now. Okay, good. Until Whee! it goes bad again. Until it goes bad again. Yeah. Um, so, uh, everybody missed that message, so post it on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> leave a message on, on YouTube. I thought the other Neo Geo extension cable on the C5 website states 5200 in the... Yeah, they are listing like multiple ones on uh, C5 website. So I, I just don't know. It's so confusing. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't even know where it would be under. 
circuit components, game software accessories, joystick, joystick. Ah, ah, this is the best. Joystick controller extensions. Uh, there we go. Where is the 15 pin? No. Maybe I can search. Mm -hmm. Search for 15. How many things with 15 in the title can there be? Probably not too many. 15 pin Atari 5200. See, that doesn't say Neo Geo in it. Um, mm. And then it says nothing. Out of stock. Yeah, well, that's the other problem. Mm. All the console fives are out of stock. But there are other websites and even eBay listing them. So mm. it's it's fairly irrelevant that console five has them or not, really. Um, uh, in other news, mm. there's, there's no visuals for this, but... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the my RetroTank 5X Pro has shipped. He's so happy. Uh, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm going to do a little up. I'm going to check it right now to see where it is. I can't show you because it has sensitive information. But I did post it on um, Facebook mm. and the Atari H forums. It is. It was shipped from San Diego and it's currently in Los Angeles. Uh, it says the estimated date of arrival will be the 22nd to the 27th. Mm. So about a week and a bit to two weeks. That's not bad. It's That's not, not bad, bad at all. And when it does come, I'm going to do a special show. Unboxing. Just about it. Yeah, I'm going to do an unboxing. Nice. And try and hook up all the retro consoles I have oh. to it. Because I haven't seen very many YouTube videos hooking up anything pre-NES. Yeah. They're just like, eh, it's old stuff. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Hook it up to your RF TV and leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> you 50-year-olds. Um, um, and I want to know how it performs, obviously. Um, especially with the 2600, because that can control the video output. Like, yeah, it can do anything to the video output it mm. wants. Mm. Um, so I'm going to hook up the XEGS, the 2600 RGB, the uh, 7800S video, an RGB... Um, ColecoVision, um, an Intellivision RF, that's all I have right now, mm -hmm. um, through a VCR, um, anything else I can think of, I'll throw at it. Yeah. Um, the Vectrex, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be difficult. <laughs> um, what is this cool device? Be, it, it's, yeah. it's sold out, it's sold out in like 10 minutes each time that it's been listed. It is an upscaler that is pretty much the successor to the frame meister mm. everybody is retiring their frame meisters mm. because of the uh retro tank 5x because it's cheaper and it has triple frame buffering which smooths out the bumps so it it um samples like three different frames before it displays the frame including the factor uh, not sure if the older CV uh, RGB has been tested on the 5X, so mm. it'll be a public service that I'll be doing yes, yeah. for all the people, and, yeah. I, and I'll and I'll let people know what mods these each of these nice. are, so that if they have that mod, it'll help them. Yeah, and it won't apply to other mods because they all work a little bit differently with different variables in the output. So mm -hmm. both cats and the cat. I can. know. Look at them. And two Ataris. And uh, two Ataris. Well, three Ataris, yeah. really. Well, four. Wow. The cat and. Uh, Three Ataris. <laughs> Silly. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, that'll be in about two weeks, yeah. approximately. <laughs> I hope it gets cooler than 28.5 degrees. Oh, Lord. Oh, we're going <laughs> to get to the games. Now it is time for VHZC's Peril. <gasps> Very exciting. Yeah. Here you Work go. Work around the cats there. They've flopped out on the floor. Yep. I don't understand. This room is so hot right now. There's much cooler places of the house. They want to be with us. But they just love they love live streaming so much that they just they just have to like hang out. Thanks. And and I like to think that Pixel is in love with um what? Your Atari there. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, the XEGS. The XEGS. The XE game system. I love it. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Okay here let's do it a eh? yes that's today um peril this is from this version uh the xex XEX. i don't know i don't know the oh. xegs all that well so yeah it's it's oh. a file format mm -hmm. that uh it has many file formats 
um, representing different things. We'll learn over the over the course of time. I'm slowly learning about the 8-bit computer mm -hmm. system. This is a consoleized version of the 8-bit computer system. It's very cool. It's just it's actually just bigger. And I There's and no it's reason. beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, There's I those was very buttons. attracted to it. Yeah. It's so nice. I just yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, so there's the title screen. Um, so this oh. was uh, first posted about November 14th, 2019. You know how to play it. Uh, this build is from November 25th, 2019. Um, I'm not sure how I would say the size of games. I don't think it's relevant in the 8-bit world. What is relevant is how much memory you need to have. I'll let me go hear the noises how much memory you need to have on your system. Because the Atari 8-bit line has computer systems dating back to 1979, um, all the way to 92. Mm. Uh, the early one, 92? the earliest one had 16K of uh, RAM. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know how and I can die. And the one with the most amount of RAM had 128K. <gasps> I should have waited. Lives. I didn't pause. Yeah, always pause. You don't know always what dangers pause. are coming. Um, the one with the most RAM at 128K. The XEGS has 64. So there are some games it will not play out of the box. Uh, very, very, very few. But uh, they do exist out there. So that it's lucky that... Um, that um, it's, it's the one I chose because it can play most of the games. It's like the Apple Rainbow Text. Yeah, oh, it, it is. is. Yeah. That, that color of green and um, pink purple. Uh, what would you call that? There is a color for it. There's a name for it. Because it was a very, very common color, especially in the Apple. Well, the green and pink are opposite on the color wheel, right? So they're... Yeah. So there's this green, pink, and white. But there's more colors in the game. CGA. Yes. CGA colors. But oh. there's a spit. Oh, what is it? Uh, oh, I just had it. It's not as hard as it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that was very lucky. It's. Uh, oh, what's the name of it? Nice artifacting. That's yes. too much artifacting. Yeah, it's great. It is. I, I will be getting an upgrade soon to this. Um, to DVI output, which uh, can convert to HDMI output. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you can't hit the walls, by the way. <laughs> um, so it'll be a lot cleaner. A lot cleaner. Yeah, no hitting the walls, just Ooh. like in the original one. Ooh. Give that woman a medal. Yeah, for that move two uh, screens ago, it's pretty good. Um, so, what he posted, he said, Hi guys, in the last year I've, I've programmed some games for the Atari 2600, and a couple of months ago I started to learn how to program for the Atari 8-bit in an attempt to port some of these games. One of those games is Peril. Buffering again. Yeah, sorry. No! <laughs> Catching up. Catching up. It's five megabits per second. Ah! I'm doing panicky. <laughs> Panic cat. Oh. It's it, it's predictable bouncing. Like you don't shoot it, by the way. No. Don't waste your bullets. Oh. Well, not oh. that you have unlimited. You you do have unlimited. How the heck do I make sure that? Uh, oh my god. ESP eight two six six zero one five five module with a stock AT firmware. I can connect to the internet via router's Wi-Fi. That's a very good question. I, for mine, which he's referring to the plus card, um, because that's oh, too panicky. It's Panic difficult. Cat. Um, Panic cat. I had to make a bunch of alterations in my router setting to make it work on my router, which I've gotten down to just two alterations. Right into Ooh. it. Game over. Hand it over. <laughs> okay, now I get. The, uh, I get to go get the wine. Yeah. Oh, oh, water for me. Water for water. me, please. Water. Ice. Ice. A little bit. Okay. Just a tiny bit, cause okay. it's very smelly ice. 
I think we need to clean out our ice maker or something. Stinky, stinky ice. The one, 130 XE had 128. Yes. I believe that's the only one that had 128. There's also a 1 meg module that you can get for your Atari, which I'm going to get put in as well so that I can play all the games and oh, did exactly the same thing. And all the uh, fancy demos too that use a lot of uh, memory so that I would never be lacking in this system will no 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 i have to defend the cat away from the chewy cable talk about that when uh, tanya gets back here but he's eyeing the braided usb-c cable see it's not as hard as tanya made it out to be <laughs> but when you first encounter it, it's like, whoa, there's three things. But they just go back and forth. Everything is very predictable in this game. So if you just study the patterns, it's not too bad. Until there's a boss, and then it's a little bit different. So you just wait for the top bounce. And then you just, well, I almost died there. Thank you. Uh, Atari was chewing on that uh, braided USB-C cable. <gasps> Already? I had to defend uh, <gasps> defend it from him. Oh, Pixel. Watch you your need, brother. You need to you need to deal with your brother when he does that. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> what is it my business? No. I mind my own cat business, he minds his own cat business until we fight. <laughs> I think Vlad uses the spike balls more than his signature skulls in his games. Yeah, he <laughs> loves the spike balls. The skulls are awesome too. Skulls but, are good. Um yeah, no, there's a lot oh, of spikes. Oh, that's a spiky ball. It is. Kenton. Watch, for, watch him. I swear he's looking for cores to chew. Oh, he does. He is a chew. Did cat. I show you this? Did I show you this? The, the cord on my uh, dress? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's he, cut. He, he like, severed it. It goes the after end. fabric, too. Yeah, apparently. Anything in this kind of size range. You have to destroy the bricks. I know. You and are a not... bad cat. You're such a bad cat. So this is a little bit more advanced than the 2600 version. It's got a little bit more things. You can like shoot walls. So here's a boss. Yeah. Here's the first boss. Oh, the eyeball. Yeah. Cats, murderers of birds, and USB cables. <laughs> yes. Yes. That one especially. And uh, ear uh, head. Um, yeah, earphone cords. Head, no, I classify cords. that all together. Yeah. S he likes cables of certain sizes. Um, certain widths. They can't be too big or he ignores them. Uh, well, let's just say he likes smaller ones. Mm. Actually, I'm safe in the middle. Okay, that's easy enough. Mm. Yeah, they, he didn't go after Christmas trees, thank goodness. The cables... He doesn't go after power cords. No. Which is very... Oh, yeah, Jesus. my sister's cat like chewing power cords and got zapped right? and oh yeah all the time and she just figured he was he was like a glutton for punishment he just seemed to enjoy it it's like spicy cables <laughs> yeah spicy cables oh, so spicy uh, <laughs> um yeah but uh <laughs> this guy likes the thinner cords so anything with a thinner cable He's pretty, and he loves anything braided. That's yeah, his braided. particular delicacy is braided, mm, the braided USBs. The chewiness of those braided, oh my <laughs> god, that was terrible. Oh, Nostalgic had one that used to chew on thick power cables or HDMI cables. <sighs> HDMI oh. cables, those can be pricey. <laughs> I have had braided HDMI cables, so yeah. he's chewed those. And he's chewed those. He likes braiding. He really likes braiding. Yeah. We never we, we learned never to use tinsel. Oh, Jesus. On, yeah, tinsel's bad is very bad for animals. Oh, he's reusing uh, this level. He probably thinks they are snakes. They're probably crunchy like a snake. Did we finish all the levels then? Is this, this, no. this is reusing the same level. This is reusing the same level. It's not it's not in the same order. He didn't go back to the first one, so um, we'll we'll see. It might just be the same one again. It takes be. a bit of time to get through it all. Yeah, yeah, you have to do two at once. Or else it takes forever. Yeah. Oh god, I did game over. Okay, your turn. <gasps> Ah, oh, stupid. Oh, is this the beginning? Death. This is the beginning. What keeps buzzing me? Okay. It's hot. So hot. 
Hot, hot, hot. hot. Oh. Mm. Good cool cold drink. water. Yep. Something about tinsel and cats. Oh, yeah. Cats love the sparkles and the thinness of the tinsel. And it moves. Yeah. Quite anything, readily. anything that moves in a way that cries like a <laughs> small cylindrical animal. Yeah. It's a snake. It's a snake. Oh my god. If you were you were oh. safe. Yeah. I don't know. Snakes are crunchy? <laughs> crunchy snakes. They are crunchy. That's true. <gasps> ah, I did it again. I just assumed it was okay. There's enough I, delay. I, I died on like, that Like, look how much time. delay there is, right? He starts it right when there is nothing. Actually, he gives it more time than there is time between. On the first glimpse of this level, he is naughty. That was yeah. very devious. Very. So watch next time when I play it after you. How much time before those come in and it's much more than the I time think it between is. i agree i yeah. think he's he is being devious yeah you uh, cats and tinsel brings me back to the 80s more than the atari <laughs> <laughs> yeah panic <laughs> not panicking just yeah it's bad for cats it's... to swallow any kind of Long stringy Cylindrical, things. Cylindrical stringy things. Yeah. You More wanna, than the grossness that you the... want an expensive vet bill, that's the way to do it. Yep. Oh yeah, that's a good tactic. Thread as well. Cats will eat thread. Thread. Oh, that's a bad one, yeah. They they'll eat anything. These okay. these guys eat fluff off the floor all the time. <laughs> And I'm yeah. like, come on, that's why you throw up. Yeah. It's part of it. <laughs> the other part is they just do it naturally because they clean themselves. And their tongues are like brushes. Like, that's what their purpose is. All the yeah. spikes in their tongues, so. They're like mini brushes, keeping them nice and fluffy. So I, I found I had two extra extending cables, extension cables. So I can put it on the XCGS, so I don't have to awkwardly try and um, plug in the joystick directly into it, because it's very challenging plugging in the keyboard and the joysticks onto this. So it's good to have extenders. That's why the, I want the other extender, too. There you go. Are XCGS is expensive or uncommon over there in North America? Uh, I'd say they're more expensive probably than just a normal, like, Atari uh, computer. You're doing well. I just hit it a little too hard. Let's check eBay. Boo! Boo -boo. I mean, that doesn't talk about North America, but I'll, I'll restrict it to North America. XEGS. I don't think there's anything else called an XEGS. Yeah, it's being red the oh, whole time God. here. I'm panicking. Calm down. People are still watching. Okay. <laughs> Did you say people are still watching? People are still watching. It must not be too bad. So, North America. Sold items. Oh my god. It's so sensitive. XEGS console. Okay, let's try this. If I could spell it right. Two sold in the last whatever. Um, no, it's not too bad, actually. Those are good prices. Complete that these two have complete with power and keyboard. Uh, 200 Canadian. So that's not too bad. So that'd be 150, 60, 160 US plus shipping. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Can hold down the button. Oh, good to know. Uh, and computers yeah. are all over the place. Let's see. Price plus shipping lowest. Yeah, there's tons of Atari computers under under that price. 
So I would say the XEGSs are a little bit more, but not that much more. So yeah, you'd have to compare to a comparable computer. And I'm guessing that's what Captain Classic is doing. Oh, price charting. That's an easier way to do it than what I just did. So I just like the look of it. I thought it was really, really cool. Um, and a little bit, I guess a little more compact, but not at the same time, if you count the keyboard add-on. But if you don't need to use the keyboard, <laughs> if you don't need to use the keyboard and you just put cartridges in it, then, you know, you yeah. can. it's quite small. Okay, last attempt. I think I can do better. Last attempt? Have you, uh... Hi, Pixel. Hi, sir. What's up? Uh, we have to move on. What's up? Can't play this game all night. Oh, but it's so good. It is. Hi. What is he doing? He's, like, Scratching. destroying. I can hear You're threads so cool. breaking. You're, like, cooler than the rest of the room. <laughs> yeah, he's got built-in... He's uh, got built-in air conditioning, I think. Yeah. Cat air conditioning. Cat air conditioning. The one thing about this version is you move really fast. And I don't know if I like it this fast. It is pretty... Uh, Jesus! See, you do... <laughs> yeah. Yep, same issue. Yeah, it is. When you die, it shows that it's um, it's it's longer. It's a longer wait at, right at the beginning. Yep. Oh, just... Yeah, it's so fast, the movement. And, there, and it's an on-off thing. There's yeah. no acceleration. Not, not even a tiny bit, which is a thing. Some people like acceleration in their games. Some don't. Charles Reese says, this version seems harder than the 2600 one. Uh, it's a little different. It's diff I don't know if I don't it's know. harder, but yeah. it's different, yeah. I don't know if it's harder. The controls are much faster. So I would say that's a little harder in the controlling of it. But in terms of like the enemies, not yet. They're, they're about the same. Screens can be more detailed, obviously. And maybe have more obstacles to them because you can have more detail in mm -hmm. the levels. And the helicopter's smaller, so yeah. But they play about the same, which is always a sign of a good port. Ah! Getting scared. <laughs> Panicking. Panic cat. Yeah. Are the levels okay? Ooh. They're too loud. Oh, no one's complained. Are the levels okay? Well, they only <laughs> complain when it's like really quiet True. or really loud. True. It's pretty quiet here, so. Mm. Let me turn it up a little bit. Oh, you're in the red again. Uh, ignore it. It's going to be it's a problem. It's not too bad, though. It's probably the heat. I think it is Overheating the things. Like the router or the modem. Yeah, or... probably, yeah. It's not meant to be really. Get out of here. There we go. It's like one little tiny bit left. There we go. It's in the green again. It's going back and forth. One more. Nope. Almost died there. There we go. Very cool sound, like very crunchy. Crunchy sounds in this game. Mm -hmm. Reminds me a lot of sounds from an Apple P Apple speaker. Like just really crunchy, crunchy mm. noises. I guess you can't shoot those, eh? I don't think so. And it looks like an apple as well, the mm. colors, right? It does. It maybe, really does. Maybe it's like an homage. Yeah, maybe. really does have that apple feel, doesn't it? Yeah. Magenta. That's the word I was looking for. Magenta? Yeah. yeah that's the official Oh, of name. that color. I yeah. see. Yeah. Oh, that's fast. That is a fast that bounce ball. Bounce ba yeah, for sure. Oh. This is where I died. Is I think. it? I think. Maybe not. Am I there? No. Oh, oh you can. Wow, that's impressive. 
Ah. Oh. Yeah, the, the nice thing about living in a city that is normally 72 degrees is that you don't normally need AC. The bad thing is when you do need it. That's yep. exactly that's, our situation. That's the problem. Yeah. It's like not, it's very nice not to have to pay for all the extra heating and cooling because it's very moderate here. But um, when it goes, it's bad. Yeah. See, that's what I should have done. Why am I going down the left? Yeah, okay, this is where I died last time. Mm. Not going to do it. Lightning is another of BH that sees game traits. Yeah, all yeah. the all and these, the these wonderful are here. spotlights. Changing the whole screen yet yeah. again. The color on it. The gray versus the black. Yeah. 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 It's, it's interesting really you used nice. gray. Oh god. So it wasn't the end. Oh, it's a dark maze. James's favorite. Ugh. Well This isn't so bad because it so flashes bad. on and off. Yeah. It does slow you down. If it didn't flash, I'd be like, oh, come on. It's interesting. I would definitely go for the dead the end The sound first. of the helicopter has slowed in this in this level. I think it's Cause it processing. Goes, it's processing is how it? much stuff is on the screen. <gasps> oh, interesting. I think. Oh, yeah, <laughs> way more <laughs> levels. <laughs> I wonder why he reused the same one. Oh, well, maybe he just liked it. Yeah, like it's... <gasps> went down too far. It's very touchy. That's, yeah, it is touchy. You have to kind of get in between, don't you? Yep. That one's a bit more room. So. Yeah. Okay, what do I have to do here? I have you to have to go with the bullet. There we go. Nice. Whew. Okay, what is happening here? Bullets, bullets, bullets. Yeah, sorry, Crossbow. The stream does... We, there's been some on and off issues. So he's, yeah. he's like, oh, i got to reload it again because he's about a minute off. So. Yeah. It's it, it fine happens, now. Unfortunately. Oh, this one I have no reprieve. But, uh, I have to go for it. Yeah, you have to. You have to. You are pretty fast. Well, that's the good thing. You can keep up exactly with the bullets, yeah. which is which is good. Yeah, oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh, oh my God! They always have the same out. pattern, I think. Do they? No. Uh, I don't know. I can't memorize two bats patterns. I just have to. I don't like when they. Oh my God! Get out of here. <laughs> when they come out of the wall and you can't even... Ooh, ooh fire breathing something. Oh, oh I have to just... Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Destroy the wall. Yeah, destroy the wall to get to him. So let's make a nice... What is what is the game gap. this is? This reminds you of where you have to destroy Yars the wall? Yars Revenge. Yars Revenge, thank you. Should have known that one. Yeah. Um, or Star Castle, which yeah. is based off of... I, I was thinking of Yars Revenge, that's the one. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of just do that. <laughs> I don't know if I can time it. Yeah, okay, I can time it. Probably better to time it. So this is another boss, I take it? Right before he yeah, hits the bottom. Oh my goodness. Right before he hits the bottom. Before he hits the bottom. Before he hits the bottom. And then I just move when... He shoots acid at you. Oh, that was a bit close. Oh, so... So many hits. I'm not gonna go closer to him. Oh, the artifacting isn't that bad, but it does it does make the word score impossible to read. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, it's to it's very close, very scrunchy score. The word score. Yeah, you're yeah. right. It's all mushed. Does the face flash when you hit it? Yes. Yes, it does. So that's a good indicator. It's hurting. Oops. Ooh, it takes a lot. You probably should. Have it's like more one wall. one frame. No, no. Because nope. I'm hitting him every time. Every single time he passes. I don't think I could do better than you don't, that. You can do it twice? No, probably not. I can't. Not no, no, the... I mean, I mean... Oh. Like, if you had no. less wall to work uh, around? Uh, it's not going to go that it much. It doesn't... Oh, there oh, you go. Perfect. One more hit. Yeah. Oh, it is skipping frames on his end, so he doesn't see it flashing. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, my God. Ooh. Not too bad. Revenge uh, of the bar charts. <laughs> oh my, I almost killed myself. Or it kind of looks like an equalizer. Like, what do you call it? The graphic equalizer? Yeah. Um, yeah, graphic EQ. Yeah. EQ, yeah. Oh, my bolt's coming out the left side. My dad's old Watch stereo. Out. What? That's really weird. It's like not hitting. It's going through the whole... Spectrum analyzer, yeah. Spectrum analyzer. <gasps> Oh, some good level design here. Some crunchy, smushy things. Look at here. that! It's, it's like a car, a car crusher. 
the uh I don't know. I I, I when I, I car crushers and I'm sure there's a movie I'm referring to from being very young, but always seemed to be in movies in the eighties. Well, it was someone was trapped in a car crusher, and oh, this is a repeat of the level. Of the this level. is the first level. Yeah, we might have looped. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, there's all. Uh, yeah. There's a car crusher in uh, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, but there's another other. Uh, Not where too. anybody has to get out. The guy's dead in it. Yeah. So. People escaping are getting killed in car this crushers. This is the same. Yeah. I don't know. So I think if the next one is the same, we have looped it. Christine? Yeah, there was one in Christine. Something Is about there? car crushers. There was like an obsession in the 80s with car crushers in movies. Yeah, because it was a good way of And they're kind of menacing and, and, and terrifying. Superman. Wasn't someone killed? Uh, no, it was, an, it was in an avalanche. They, they were in a car. No, but I swear. It was Lois Lane. No, wasn't someone killed in a one of the Superman films? It was in an earthquake. Lois Lane was in a car. There was boulders crushing down on it. No, that's not what I'm thinking of. And she died. I thought that it was one of the Superman films. Oh, maybe. I had a friend who was obsessed with it. The old ones. Yeah, one, two, and three. Okay. Um, yeah, it's I wanted repeat. to play her Nintendo, and she wanted to play my VHS. We, she wanted to watch my VHS copies of Superman. That's a great trade. No, we <laughs> argued continuously. I'm like, I want to play Super Mario, and she's like, can we go to your house and watch Superman? And it was like oh. this uh, this constant argument about what we would do. Well, but I have... Oh, sorry, kid. Grass is always greener, as they say. I had I had all the Supermans on VHS. So, ah. yeah. so completed. <laughs> da, da, da. Very, very good. Uh, VHSC, as per usual. Yeah. So hopefully he'll continue this game. Mm -hmm. um, finish it. Uh, I don't know how many screens he he recently updated his island one ninjish guy in uh, island island ah what is, <laughs> what's it called somebody help me out um, but that is the sequel to this game yeah um, where you start off with the crashed helicopter. Yes, 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 yes. So at the end of this game, you go to the next the game. The next game. Peril right. Island. Thank Peril you. Peril Island, because, well, there it's we go. It's Peril. There you Peril. go. Peril. He goes Island. to Peril Island. He yeah. crashes his helicopter. So he needs to finish this game so that he can well, tie it in. The 2600 is, is done, I believe, um, version of this. Yeah. He needs to create them as like a trilogy. He did. Peril, Peril Island, and then Low Res World? I don't know. No, Ninja Sky. Yeah goes to peril oh that's right he takes off in the helicopter and then it's peril, then it goes island. To peril so it is it, it goes is to a peril trilogy. island it is a trilogy yeah. yeah that's awesome yeah very 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 nice did crossbow not know that he did he's going wait technically crashing hop helicopters when you crash in this game yeah well uh, no not well it could be but you're inside somewhere peril peril island would be you taking off from this place and going somewhere but you crash on the way yeah true mm-hmm so you're already on Peril Island now playing this game. So, no, I think you leave Peril and then crash on the island. That that was my understanding. But. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. So, excellent, it's excellent. so good. Excellent game. Yeah. Uh, I hope he continues on. It's been two years since he's worked on it. Mm. So he's been doing a million other projects. Mm. Um, but I, I would think he would come back to that. So let's take a look at the poll. Uh, do you like Atari Vox speech in your homebrew? And there's an exact exact tie between love it more games with speech 50 mm. percent and number two don't carry the way as long as i don't miss anything by not having it 50 percent as well and nobody mm. hates it mm. they're either mm. ambivalent or they like it so mm. that's that's good there we mm. go makes him ninja aviator uh, versus guy yeah ninja aviator guy that is true yeah. ninja guy is the pilot of the helicopter yeah yep. he is yep very cool um, so the next game is RGB. Um, I just want to point out how cute Pixel is, and he's cuddling up cute. to the XCGS right now. He look, seems to really like that. Look at that cat system. He really loves that system. I know. <laughs> it's his favorite Atari system. 
Well, he cuddles up to it every I time. I do shoo him off the other ones because he jumps up there and I've shooed him enough. Yeah, he doesn't that's do true. it much anymore. That's very true. So he does like cuddling with Atari. I know he does. It's just this one, he's allowed to cuddle with the Atari. Yeah, he also likes to cuddle with the other Atari, but the the other Atari, the fluffy Atari, doesn't always put up with it. So. No, yeah. only when they're both very, very tired. Very tired. Uh, so this. Pilotish guy, yes. Pilot Thank you, VHZC. Yeah, <laughs> pilotish guy. So this next game uh, is from 2015, but it came in second place uh, in 2014 in mm. the ABBUC software contest, mm. uh, right behind Demos Quest in ABBC U Land. Uh, it got 586 points. Very nice. And the first place got 663, so it did very very well. Mm. Um, and I'm sure this will be a great reference for us playing um, 8-Bit Homebrew mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. um, they hold it every year, just like we do. They've been doing it for a lot, a lot longer. There's Last Squadron, which we played, nice. uh, which we bought. Yes, yes, excellent. Actually, yeah. and played in the last 8-Bit day. There you go, Last Squadron, which is an awesome but difficult shooter. Mm -hmm. um, so let's play our GB. Press left in the button to go back up a menu. There you go. Um, so this one was uh, first posted about August 31st, 2014. Uh, this build is from January 12th, 2000. Yeah, RGB. Um, let me switch over. Oh no, missing things. Sorry, I apologize. That's okay. Let's, uh, you said hit it, so I oh, did. I said go into the menu. That's well, okay. no. The, the, go ahead. It's yeah. very quick to restart. No, you broke it. No, you broke it. Exit out. It was working left, just left fine. Left in the button. No. Nope. No. Nope. Right now. Oh, very broken. Mm -hmm. I think you did it. Bl right now. I blame the cat. Right now. Thank you. Okay. Very nice. Very nice title. Very screen. nice. Oh. Very beautiful title screen. So there's difficulty, uh, starting level, and audio setup, which will leave everything on probably easy and zero. Okay, I haven't completed any of them, so we start at zero. I think you can have like just the music, just the sound effects, or everything. Okay. So beautiful title screen with the robot. The right. RPG. <laughs> Um, Rage Reboot. Yes. It. <laughs> it I had to reboot it a couple times yeah. there. It's overheating. Oh, 29 degrees. Woo! -hoo. Okay, start the game. Oh, yes, it is 29 degrees. Ah! So, you're protected. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. Oh, that's jump. I'll, I'll, there's jump. To fire, you have to hold it down. Okay. And wait till it charges up to fire. So, try that now. Oh, wow. And then fires, so you have to use some timing. So you are red right now. Yeah. That guy's red, so you can shoot him. Oh. Then there's flashing things. See the flashing yellow up there? Yeah. That means you turn yellow when you touch it, and you can shoot the yellow guy. Yeah. Then there's a multi one up in the next level where you can turn any color, but it uses your energy bar on the bottom left. See that blue? Oh, That's your I energy see. bar. Okay. Um, I'll find out more inf information here. So, you can play along there. Yeah, good graphics. But the B and G are wrong. Yes, yes, yes. Not perfect. That was so you lost only a tiny bit of energy. Uh, so I guess so. Or maybe that three is how many bullets you can take. Oh. We'll find out. Oh, it's a bit loud here. You're timed. I'm down to 30 seconds. Yeah, you were what? down to 15 seconds. Oh, God. But Damn it. you just start over. That's okay. Yeah. You're just getting the hang of it. Yes, the colors are off. The composite is not perfect. Oh. This is not easy. Hi, everyone. Let me introduce our game for the annual ABBCU Software Contest 2014. Objective, your task is to eliminate all robots in a level by deactivating their RGB components. Oh, to deactivate a component, shoot at the robot with a missile that has the color you want to de deactivate. For example, to deactivate a red robot, shoot at him with a red missile. To deactivate a cyan rob robot, shoot at him uh, 
with a blue missile than a green missile. Oh. Or vice versa. To activate a white robot, shoot at him with a red, green, and blue and missile. So you have to shoot all three. So you have to have very good uh, color. I have green. I get it. I get it. I get it. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but you can shoot at any order. You can change your missile's color at the recalibrator by picking up certain bonuses. Or by picking up certain bonuses. So you press down to change it. And he uses up some energy, quite a bit, more than getting shot. Ah. There we go. 27 seconds left. Time bonus. Not great. Does the 8 bit color. Uh... Oh, press the button, please. Thank you. <laughs> Terrible. It hangs for some reason on the audio. Um, there are eight levels in the game with incre increasing width and complexity, including the single screen introductory level zero. When you run out of energy, the game is over. Mm. Mm. So there's a red robot up there. That one's green. That one's kind of orangey. That one's definitely green up there. Mm. That one's red down there, so you might want to go for that one next so you don't waste energy. Ah! Oh, ah! Don't get shot too ah! much. Oh, he changed color. Oh, now we need an orange. Or cyan. I don't know. How do I do this? Just press down. No, press down. There you go. I don't want red. That's the one you want. There we go. Oh. You can't shoot that guy. No? Oh. oh, you can. What the hell? Well, well you, you can't shoot that. Guy. <laughs> I can't shoot that. Then guy. I can't shoot that. Guy. Really nice graphics and music. Yeah, yes. It's beautiful. And nice little puzzly type game. I don't know how to shoot them without destroying my energy, though. It's so I don't think hard. You can. Like you could jump up the last second, I guess, but you interrupt your shot. 26 seconds left. Oh. Oh, is that a, like a catch-all? Oh, color? I get energy. Oh, that's nice. No, he was orange. Oh. I'm, 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 I'm being very specific about the order I'm killing them in. Well, it's, yeah, makes sense. Nice. Oh, Six seconds. Time? Oh. oh, I'll take whatever time I can get. There Thank you. Go. you. So. Green. Yeah. Basically, oh. all of the Atari IA chips color drift with temperature. Even the 2600. Really. I've never seen anybody mention color drift on the TIA. Hard. It's hard. Can I run out of time? Uh, six seconds. You might make it. Just shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Yeah. Four seconds left. Ooh. Good job. <sighs> T-blocks are good. Yeah, oh, T-blocks yeah. are good. So, let me read the actual instructions, because there's a PDF that comes with this. Oh, very nice. Um, so, let's find out what all the things are. So, red switches to red, green to green, blue to blue. T is for time, which we found out. Uh, e is energy. Increases energy by six segments. Mm. I, invincibility for eight seconds. Mm. So, just go on a rampage when you get the I. Mm. And P is for points, which is, bleh, who cares. Mm. <laughs> it's all about get to level eight. Uh, joystick up, left, right, control robot movement, down, mm -hmm. activate color recalibrator. Uh, when activated, move down again to choose color and press fire to confirm. Fire, hold fire to a while, t for a while to launch missile. Mm -hmm. Space bar, pause the game, if we wanted to. Select, toggle music, sound effects, both mute. Help, you can toggle the action on fire and joystick on up. Um, so you can switch it, the two things. So you can change that fire. to jump instead of fire, and then up fire. for. Nah, I think it's up the makes way it is. so much more sense. Yeah, than if, up and for if fire. you don't have two buttons, then yeah. Um, I mean, we could switch out the joystick, so one one is jump, and because I have an I'm getting used to this I have now. an up joystick, where the second button maps to up, which is exactly for this type of game. 
Oh god. Oh god. There you go. Nice. Oh, I'll take your time. Thank you. It's red on the bottom left. How big is this? Oh, it's a big one. Bottom Don't dawdle. Left. What are you doing? I'm looking for where things are. Okay. Because this guy can shoot on, on, on that side. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, they can both get you. <laughs> there you go. They don't really take you down much. Oh, why did that turn green? you green? Because it was blue. <gasps> combos. It combos. Well, might as well do the green guy then. No, you can't jump and do it. You have to be on solid ground. It's brutal. Jump! I know, I know, I know. <laughs> okay. So Three minutes of time. This level must be a bear. Yeah, that's quite far. You have an email for your consideration after the stream. Thank you, Carl. Well, I'll read it afterwards. What? It's very long. What is going on? Where is it? Oh, Who that's am a I block. Missing? Uh, maybe you can shoot the block? There no. you go, around there. Oh, there! Oh my gosh. So there obviously are things here. Two minutes. There's oh. a green guy, a red guy, an orange guy. So there's an orange All guy right. up there. How do oh. I get back up? Oh no. Oh, it's the middle platform there. Yeah. Here. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, there's another one. It's very, uh, very hidden. He was he held back. Oh my gosh, I must have no energy left. Damn it. Yeah, very low. How where's where's my changeover? Bottom there, bottom left. Ugh. Oh, that's the right hand side of the wall. <gasps> ah! Now you have very low. Two greens. That would be good to go for two greens in case one of them has time. Oh, I knew uh... that was gonna happen. Oh my gosh! Oh, nice game over screen. Wow, that's Ooh, really nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Some nice Look at that. Graphics going on there. Looks like a snail S smoke? and a smoky robot. Yeah. Helmet? Helmet, maybe? With the living creature inside of it. <laughs> um, it looks like an escargot. So, starting level two, I'm guessing the difficulty just reduces your time. Yeah. So, it's up to jump. Uh, red down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That will give you green? Ah. ah. There's an or a yellow orange up there. Damn it. Orange. Up and around. I'm there. Get that right. Yeah, no, there's an orange in the bottom corner there if you want to get that for free. Oh, it's behind a wall. There's an eye, too. Invincible. Ooh, I didn't even see the eye there before. Let's go green now. Okay. You could have gotten the blue and that would have given you green, but... Oh. The invincible. No. Where? Well, it's, oh, yeah, it's by the yellow guy, so. Doesn't oh. Matter. It's by the orange guy. Orange guy. Um, switch to orange. Yep. It's, oh. It, it, I should get the invincible yeah. and then go You're for the other You're kind of wasting orange. time, though, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. want to be careful. My first game. Oh, you started at my level. You didn't start at the beginning. Oh, why would I do that? We already played that. It'll take forever to do all the levels. So you, you just restarted. It, did, sorry, I didn't pay attention. Could you pick it, or did it automatically it's automatic. just restart? It's like, well, you have You to... know what? I appreciate that in a game, because... Yes. It's a puzzle game, right? Yeah, and it, it does get frustrating when you start back on, like, easy level one all the time, so... Yeah. It's very, very sensitive. Oh, you still have two minutes. You're doing pretty good. Yeah. You're flying through faster it's than because I was. I, know I was the very, layout now. very, yeah. You were watching me do it. What the and hell? You ran out of energy. Oh, what? Yeah. I was playing too crazy. You were running fast and loose. Oh, if you shoot them really far away, if you can, it helps. Every time you switch colors, it get um, the red guy first. Get the blue. What are you doing? Running away. Blue? From free stuff. He dropped a blue. Yeah, but there's th three. Yeah, but it gives you green. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you can go after the green guy. And then switch to orange. Yeah, I think there's a green guy on the other side too, but oh. that's okay. Then switch to orange. And yeah. 
because it does use up your energy every time you switch. So yeah. if you get shot too much, then go nuts! Shoot them all! Shoot them all. Here we go. Good job! Stick with orange. Any oranges here? Yep. Up. You have to go down and up. Yep. Good job. To go back. Two minutes. You're still doing well. Oh, get the E, get the E, get the E. Oh, yes. There you go. I didn't see that last time. Yeah, they hide. I think they can't you're not shoot looking you for when it. they're going... No, they can't. When they're going away from you. Either side. And I'm done. Get zapped by the lasers. You're good. This is a super cute game, by the way. Very cute. It's I love it. A little bit puzzly, a little bit action-y. I like that balance. What is the bar under the blue ah, bar for? I can't. Uh, that's your shooting bar. Oh, you have to go back, probably. <laughs> Can you? Oh. Oh, you uh, just turned yellow. No, you don't want yellow. Oh, no. Why did you get yellow? I don't know. How do I even get to that guy? Maybe you can't. <gasps> do I have to do him first? Damn or can it. you go to the left? No. No. Locked? Oh, they're no. out of sequence. So you can't get across? Left. You can't There's get across? no platform up there. So you have to get across up. No, you have to go up and across. Well, I just you hurt jump myself there? from falling. Yeah, I can. Yeah, there you go. So you have to go over. There I didn't even go. know you could go up there. I didn't either. That would be the good one to start still, with. You've still got lots of time, so don't murder yourself. <gasps> <sighs> you got him? Yeah, your turn. No, no, you play. Keep playing yeah? another round. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you can charge, yes. It's the only way to shoot is if ch is charging, actually. Yeah, the charging is to shoot, sorry. Oh, what are we doing? Oh my god. Those guys are yellow, right? Those guys are yellow? Uh, kind of that one, that horrible one there? There you go, yeah. Red. Uh, green. More uh, yellows? I don't see any on this screen. You can try moving across to see if there's another yellow. There's more else. There's one up there. Yep. And then one up down at the bottom. Oh, and one over there, too. <gasps> see? I don't know what that means. Power. The bottom left gives you more power. The guy at the bottom, and there's a guy up there. Oh, I fell down. And there's an energy hidden behind. Oh, I just got something, but I didn't see what it was. Red. You oh. got red. Oh no, you don't have, you ah. don't have orange anymore. Oh no! No, now you got green! Oh. What are you doing? Wasting things? You can you can kill that guy on oh. the left. Yep. And there's energy there oh, too. Oh, I might well get that. Yeah, beware, you can hurt yourself from falling. Oh, what? Oh, he changed his color. Oh, he's white now. He's orange. No, you can't hit him. He's orange. Oh, he's green now. What? No, he's not. What? No, he's orange. Okay, now where's the where's the changer? I don't know. Ow. Maybe there's a specific sweet sequence. Yet. Oh, I bet this is just a sequence. Oh, so God. much stuff on the screen. Yeah. I can't do anything. I used up all my <laughs> used up all Did my you? changing no, you color did. changes. Yeah, because you kept running into things randomly. Go more to the left. There's probably more stuff to the ah, left. Hurting myself. Yeah, ah, can't make it. I have to go through this guy. No. I do. You? Yeah. You can't. Well, I'm green, red. so... There's a power... There we go. You got an orange. Any there. else green, though? Got the bottom, right? Yeah. Red? Yeah, get the red. Yep. There's lots of red there. <gasps> he changed. Oh, he's back. Power... Yellow. I'm in trouble. Well, they drop things. Yeah. So you're yellow. Okay. So you can get that go golden guy at the bottom. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Oh, it's another golden. I don't oh. know. You might be screwed. I am. I did too much. 
for any of the gold ones. Yeah. Yeah, there's one there. more. I didn't drop anything, so I'm done. Uh, it is an E, e. but I can't. How do I even get there? Oh, oh my go god. There's more time. I can shoot this guy? He's green. He does change. Hmm. If you hit him, he does change. Oh. So if you keep hitting him and dodging him. I don't know if he'll ever change the, the color that I am. He'll just change to a complementary color. No, not necessarily. Yeah. He just changes to a color that mm. is complementary to the one I'm shooting him with. Uh, there's an eye. Mm. Doesn't help me, but. Invincible. Okay. I'm going to try. try shooting that guy over and over. I don't know. And it just changes a little bit. Yep, I'm gonna die, and I'll let you have a shot at this. You have to be a bit more careful at this time. <gasps> if the levels continue to be this big, I wonder if you'll need to map <laughs> map them. You you might because of the color changes and to optimize, especially if they drop the exact same sequence, which I'm sure, because it's a puzzle game. Mm. Starting to be more puzzling. Mm. Oh my god. I can't jump. It's tough because you hit your head sometimes. It's right? so crazy. <clears throat> Why can't I jump? Oh so there's four there's four there colors. Oh, there's four color combinations. Yeah. Cyan, blue-green. Magenta, red-blue. Yellow, red-green. White, red-green, and blue. On top of the red-green-blue as well. So really, there's seven colors to keep track of. Yeah, there are. So definitely be... Um... <gasps> oh. A game where you would use it would be helpful to have a really good color output <laughs> on your system and very it doesn't really matter too much that your color is tuned because you'd be just like well that's that color whether it's a terrible green or a good green or a terrible orange and a, or a good orange oh, you're forced to go red yeah that's fine oh good there's red there oh, shoot him Like, why can't I move? It's too much, too many lamps blocking your way. No, actually, the lamps don't block you. <laughs> There's a blue there, but I no. probably don't want to get that yet. I wonder if I can dodge this dude. You can shoot him to change color. No, he doesn't change color. That doesn't change color. There's one red. Yeah. Invincibility. No. Take both of these. And time. 30 seconds you get for the... It's not terrible. For the time. Yeah. Especially when you start out with three, four minutes? Is this one? I didn't see. Right, now that is a uh, purple? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is that supposed to be magenta? I'm guessing. It's not red, green, or blue. That was oh, green. no. Yes. Okay. Oh, no. no, that wasn't quite green. Now he's white? He's all the colors? This is the one that's weird. It looks like you should be You able have to, to go count. through him. <gasps> Do you? Yep. Come on, jump! There is a green there. Good. Oh, another green. Two greens. Perfect. And, oh. I'll get that other green first. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you fell. Oh, I didn't realize. Go to the, make sure you go to ledges if you can find them. Perfect. Pink? Yeah. Oh, the, oh. Is he red or is he... No, oh, he's close enough. That guy too? It's kind of a different shade. Of no, I think, he's, right? I think he's pink. Nope. Nope. Jump up! up. There. 
Now he's that color, for sure. Oh, there was another red. Oh, no. That's no, okay. They do drop them, so. Thank you, that. Thank you. The color matching on this reminds me of the C64 game Whizball. I never played Whizball. It looked way too hard. It looked way too crazy. And hard to control. I think I played it, like, once. So there's a blue over there. I don't know if that would change you to red. Where? <gasps> Uh, middle oh. of the screen. We might as well try no. it. Oh, oh don't do that. Oh god, no, I'm falling. It's so hard to get over there. Stop it! Jump properly! There we go. You have to fall. Nope. There you go. So, am I the same color as that guy? Maybe? I think he's white. I wouldn't do it. He's white? Yeah. There's a white? Yeah, you have to shoot him three times. Do you? Or a combination shot. Oh no! Maybe not. Just save it in case you do need to change back to that. Oh, I just wasted it. Doesn't matter. I kind of have to get it this way anyway. That guy's that your color. <gasps> Is he? I think so. Oh, you just hurt yourself. Oh, I'm three seconds left. Oh no! Yeah, oh. yeah it's not gonna happen. Well, that wasn't so bad. I'll give it one more try. It ain't easy being. <laughs> no. Oh, Charles. <laughs> Give it a try again. Try not to waste colors. I mean, the time was the fight for you. Oh, can you get... Oh. There you go. That's what you have to do. You have to get him right away. And then get the orange. Oh, I think. really? Well, I don't know. I mean... I could go get all the reds. Can you... There's lots of reds. Yeah, but you can't get past that guy. <laughs> well, I guess that's true. Oh, he's not red. I'm just gonna do all the colors that I can. Nice one. Uh, he's not red either, is he? He's purple, like, purple. Some yeah. more reds? It might be still, it's yeah. very white. Oh. Can I just run through this guy? Yeah. There's the a red. red. Here. There's another red up there. Yeah, yeah, you got him. Good. I wonder if this is a good tactic. Should I like, just do, like, trying to avoid I them? think that you need to go from red to blue so you get purple because purple is really hard to find so you need to kill this guy and you can get the i and the t if you want down below there and then go get that blue because purple yes. you need red and blue to get purple i assume, yeah. I assume. um so i think you're just gonna have to plow through and oh. Oh. It does, they don't hurt you that much like no really they don't they do but they yeah, I think you need to try and try for the blue. Oh, it's green! How is red and blue green? What? I don't know what kind of crazy world this is. There you go. Get another one. Get that. Yeah? See what happens. It'll turn me red. I don't know. Will it? <laughs> it doesn't always seem... Like, how do you get purple? If blue and red don't give you purple... I don't understand. I don't know. Is this a post-original game? It is an original game, Captain, Captain Classic. I think I think so, yeah. Yeah, I, I believe. I've never heard of it. Not, that doesn't mean anything, because there's billions of games out they there. They do remind me of the robots from uh, Impossible Mission 2. The, uh, the little guys with the blue. heads Going for blue. is definitely a form factor that, <gasps> Can I get that? Is, is a style of robot that was in that game, so... Green. Well, there's green. Guys. There, you've got plenty of green, but I just don't get it. There must be something that Save explains that. the um, color changing. Yeah, the yeah. color changing. There's a green card. <gasps> Good job. So Ooh, I do need that, but are there any more green? Yeah, there's a green. Well, I don't know what that is. That's green. Yeah, that okay, looks green yeah. to me, but it's making me. <gasps> He's not green. He's like a light green. Okay, there he's green. <gasps> Almost dead. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think we're done with this game. Unless you want to give it another go. That's hard. Like that, you, you almost need planning for. I need you to look up how you get purple. I don't know if it says. Does it say the color mixing? Because I'd like to try that. It doesn't. 
No? How do you get purple? Do you have to get blue twice, maybe? The bonuses, like the pickup things, it just says red switches to red, green switches to green, blue switches to blue. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah? I guess if you're green and you pick up a blue, you turn cyan. If you're red and you pick up a blue, you turn magenta. If you're red and you pick up a blue, but I was red. Like, what are you now? Would I'm that be pink. magenta? I, I don't know. Red versus magenta? That's a good question. Yeah, very subtle. Because that guy is not red. That Those two robots? Yeah, there, they're different colors. That is red, 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 and you are closer to that other guy. So I think oh. you can shoot. So you were magenta and you picked up a what? What was that? Orange. Orange. Cyan. Is it cyan? No. It's orange. Well, there's no orange listed. What? There's cyan, magenta, yellow, and white. That's weird. Is that yellow? It's like gold. It could be yellow. Might you have to shoot while enemies many times once with each, with each color? Um, you can. Because you'll subtract that color from them. So if there's, if there's a cyan robot that you have to shoot... You can shoot him with a blue and then a green, and it'll take him out. Shoot him, shoot him. Let's see if that takes him out. So you don't look red. You look off red. But parts of you are red. The game reminds me a little of Duke Nukem or Commander Keen. Yeah, it's got that chunky squat look to it of those games. And the, the jumping and, and the and the pickups. A little bit more uh, busy. So green and red make yellow. Is that yellow? No. That just turned you red. I'm confuzzied. Me too. The colors are really off. <laughs> yeah. I think cyan is that purple. Cyan's usually blue, so... I mean, the colors on the, the system are probably off. Like, that's a purple guy. But he's magenta. Right? And turn him green. Two shot him with red. I don't know. Silhouette Mirage. The color thing reminds me of Silhouette Mirage, but that treasure game was more of a high-speed shooter. This is more of a puzzly, slower pace with that timer. <laughs> I think it's hard enough without the timer. I, we, I think we both have died on this level from just dying out of being shot too much every time on this level. The last one was more about... Um, nope, wrong color. There's a red guy down there for sure. There's a blue to get. I'm green, which is fine because I think I want that yet. No, it's two greens, guys. There and there. Oh, yep, I need that for that. Not yet. So you've got options, which is really good. And you hurt yourself. Oh, he's not green. Or he just needs to be shot multiple times. Yeah. Oh, you hurt yourself. The green guy up in the corner. Is there? Yeah, top right. Oh god, that's really far. Yeah, you're gonna get hurt too much by doing that. I'm only so I would 42 get that. seconds left. I'm get, not gonna be able I'll to get do that, that orange guy and then go for that orange guy. By getting that orange there. Hang on. Yeah, there's a little bit of fighting with the controls. Oh, I felt that. Finally. 
use orange. I'll just leave that because you may need it later. Don't get it! Oh, it doesn't matter. there's I have an orange to go. guy there. I have to go that way. No, you don't. There's an orange guy right there. Where? Right up there. Oh, there's not yeah. enough time in this one. Wow, I'm sure there's a very specific way to tackle them. Yes. But You're close. You're getting very close. Well, I think the first time I did the level, after you did it, I only had like one or two left when I died. Yeah. So I, I actually got further, I think. That's but... gorgeous. That's gorgeous So graphics. cool. That is so, so cool. Yeah. It's a really good game. Ah, uh, hot, hot, hot. Okay. The Togo says, might you have to shoot white enemies many times? But yes. sometimes you shoot them once. Like if you're the white color or... Because you've shot them some some other some multiple times before. Maybe you have to hit them three times yes, then. With different colors. I don't know. There's something about the color that's off, but anyway. Yeah. That's okay. That was uh, very, very cool. I like that a lot. Super cool. I want to oh play more God. of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's there. Yeah. Uh well you have to go through all the levels again, unfortunately. How did my wine glass empty so quickly? That's really mysterious. Cats. I know. You. The cats have been licking it. We have to rewind. I need more ice actually. I'm gonna <laughs> No, I'll so, let you start a game, and then yes. I'll run off and get something cool. Next game show. is hmm? Bosconian Yeah. <laughs> for the 8-bit system. Take it away, James. <laughs> so, um, this is originally an arcade game. So this is a port of an arcade game called Bosconian, which I love. Mm. Um, and Bosconian came out in 1981. We're going to take a look at the arcade for just a little bit, for those of you who have not played the arcade version. It is now 29 degrees in this room. Uh, it hasn't gone up, so... No, it has. It was at 28 before. <laughs> well, I declared it 29. Oh, have you? Yep. Oh. Oh, it's so warm. It's ridiculous. So it's got a um, <gasps> voice in this game. What, what version is this? It's the arcade. Really? Yeah. yeah. They have a little Galaga spaceship? I thought it was different in the arcade. No, it is a Galaga spaceship. Really? Yeah. So you have to take out all the bases. You can see on your um, radar on the right-hand side, there are three bases on the first level, yeah. and you can kill them three different, two different ways, by shooting all the little pods around the edges, which that guy just did, or you can shoot, like in Star Wars, down the hatch, yeah. right in the middle. Oh, right the this guy's not doing it because you get more points for, for shooting all the pods. It just takes so much longer. A little bit more dangerous. Oh, he did shoot down the middle there, accidentally. <laughs> um, Bosconi is, an, is a multi-directional scrolling shooter arcade game. Uh, it was developed and released by Namco in Japan in 1981. Uh, in North America, it was manufactured and distributed by Midway Games. The goal of the game is to earn as many points as possible by destroying enemy missiles and bases using a ship that shoots from the front and back. So it's, it's got a lot of um, unique things to it. Um, Bosconium was the first shoot 'em up game to feature a diagonal movement. Really? So all games before this were up, down, left, left or right. right. So this is the first diagonal game. So that's quite this. cool. I love this. I love this. Wow. You don't want condition red because it's it's death time. And it's condition red. I think he's cheating because I just saw him. Um, Bosconi was commercially successful in Japan. Blah 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 blah. Uh, the game was ported to computers in 1987, and, it made, and there was two sequels to this. I just learned this today. Mm. Two sequels alive, to Bosconi. Really? One is called Blast Off from 1989. It is a very very bland vertical shooter. Gotcha. I I I saw some video of it and it was like, mm, okay. And then there was Final Blaster in 1990. He's invincible. Yeah, I know. I just said that. Sorry. You're not listening to me. I'm not. I'm watching the gameplay. <laughs> um, in 1990, there's Final Blaster that yeah. was put out. It's really cool. And it's alive, on the PC alive. Engine slash TurboGrafx-16. Okay. I will definitely be buying that. Cool. Um, it's a vertical shooter, mm. like every other vertical shooter. But you can go backwards a little bit. Alive, so alive. you can back up a little bit. But your your goal is to go forwards. But if you're in a, a jam, you can go alive. back a little bit. So you bit. go back a few, couple screens? Yep. I don't know how far you can go back, but you can go back. And that like, is cool. I've never alive. seen that in any other game. Like, in vertical, like a shooter like that. Vertical yeah. shooters where you go backwards. Oh, yeah. Super, super cool. That's a neat concept. Cool. Yeah. Same hardware as Rally X. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. It's a lot of 
video games shared the same hardware. It's like having a, a console that supports multiple games. They had boards that support multiple games. You could just replace the ROM chip. A lie. A lie. Um, the game is subsequently being regarded by critics as inf influential in the shoot 'em up genre. It's lie, it's so good. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, one of my favorite shooters. Yeah, yours too. Yeah, you love it, eh? Oh, that's great because we're gonna play it right yeah. now. Yeah. That system. Okay. Here you. Oh, oh, you're on the, the. He's like, what the hell? What is going on? He wants. He wants treats. Both of them want treats, I think. RGB. Top one, eh? Uh, yes. And you have to pick the 64K PAL version, unfortunately. Pal? We're going to be playing PAL. Ooh. So the colors are going to be a little strange, but it okay. plays just fine. Okay. Gonna, um, because you need 128K to play Ugh. this game, unfortunately. He's working on a 64 NTSC version, but it's not, it's not completely done yet. Mm. Um, Does he say a lie or alive? <laughs> alert, alert, alert. But it sounds like a live, alive. It's so bleh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that in the arcade. Speaking like of, speaking of alar, alar. voices, voices in old arcade games, right? Yeah. Alar, exactly. alar. Alar, alar. <laughs> it's so funny. And for the 2600 version, there is samples in it. Yeah. And he sampled that muddy sample from the arcade. That, no, it so has to. It that's, sounds that's Bosconian. Just the same. Alar, yeah. alar. alar, alar. <laughs> yeah, I don't care for the Invincible ones either, but they're there to show you the full game, all the levels, not their gameplay. So this was made... I haven't been reading out the names. Janusz uh, uh, Jablo Jablowski yeah. and Krzysztof Zimbek did the title screen graphic, which is great. And Michał Jablowski did the music. Miker. I'm going to say they're Atari games. Shanty 77 did the, <laughs> did the coding graphics. There, go. there it is. There's all the names. Yeah. It does glitch out a bit. It is glitching out a little, yeah. Because it's this is pal. It's so. pal, oh no. But you can play it. In the game I don't I don't think it glitches out. There he, he spells out what it says there. You can hold down the button. Five yeah, that's right. So there's your radar. Oh there it is. And it's, it's a very, very, very good version, I would say, this one. Um, I would say right on par with the 2600 version. The C, I was looking at, I never played the C64 version, and I was looking, <gasps> you have to, don't be a cartoon character, run to the side of the bullet. No, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to destroy the, the space base. Um, the C64 version is abysmal. It's terrible. Is it? It looks terrible, and it runs at like three times the speed, and the screen is so small, you just run into things. I don't know how it got, ever got released. Get it? Oh! Okay, this is definitely harder than, than the... There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Getting weird flicker on the right-hand side. Yeah, this yeah. is the PAL. It's the PAL version. The colors are going to be weird and gross. They're all kind of brown. brown. So condition yellow is condition pink. Is it? Oh, that's true. <laughs> condition oh, that's pink. funny. Condition pink. But I only have a 64 RAM, the stock in this, so we can't play the, the full version, sadly. Yeah. We have to play the PAL 64 because there's no PAL. Uh, NTSC 64. There's an older um, NTSC 64, but... I think it has some issues. It doesn't have any voice. That's what it doesn't have. The older. So I thought I would keep the voice in and sacrifice the color. Terrible. <clears throat> What's the best arcade sample? The Force will be with you always. Those are really good samples. Wizard needs food badly. Well, that's an, a newer sample, so it's a much better. Time bonus. Not familiar with that one. What's the time bonus one from? Do you earn more points for destroying the six spheres before destroying the center? I am almost certain on that. But, you do? Uh, I'm going to look, so I'm gonna look it up. So much easier. Oh, so much easier just shooting the center. It takes it's way less time. But if you're going for high score, then you know which one you would do. 
Alive, alive. Oh, alive. terrible. <laughs> See if they have score in the Wikipedia page. Sometimes they have score, which is really weird. Nope, they don't. Alive, alive. Let's see, boss, Conian, uh, no, not bosoms, boss, Conian. <laughs> Be careful what you search. That's right. Um, instructions? Oh, yeah, this is the perfect game to play when it's 29 degrees in your <laughs> streaming office. Oh, my God. <laughs> Terrible. Not good. Let's see. Starfighter, eye types. Where's the score? Enemy base. Here we go. Okay. Enemy base orb is 200. Enemy base is 1500. So you just get the score for the enemy base if you blow the enemy base up. Too close to it. How many lives do you have? Quite a few. It's like five, I think. Jeez. You, but you do in the, in the arcade too, don't you? Get yeah, you get quite a few, which is very nice. You're on level one? Yeah, I restarted. Oh, okay. I'm not doing very well. I usually play a little better at this game. But actually, I find it a little bit challenging. I found the other versions easier to to, to do that. Um, but maybe I'm just readjusting to it. I am out of practice. I found this one just the same. It's just the same. Yeah. Actually easier. Yeah? Yeah, than the 2600 version. I found the 26 or the arcade. I found it really easy. I found the arcade really easy. Oh, run. The arcade is... It's not hard. It's not super hard. It's it gets nice hard. because it's, it, it does get it gets hard, hard, but... Run level 10. I think that's when I start dying off pretty quick. Uh, oh, don't be a... They cartoon follow character. you. No, they don't. They do. The, the if they're bullets, going in a straight no, line... No, no, no. I'm saying the bullets uh, match your, your pace. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. Yeah. No, they don't follow you. That's not what They're I They're not heat-seeking I mean. missiles. No. There are heat-seeking missiles. Oh, yeah, there That are. will come. But in later levels. Yeah. I think I... Come on, just get it. <sighs> just get it. Just get it. Oh, I was nicely lined up, and then something comes along. Come to think of it... That, um, going forward with this system, a lot of these games are made in Europe, which yeah. is PAL land. PAL land! <laughs> um, which might be an issue if they don't make NTSC versions. Like 2600s, it's almost all NTSC first, then PAL later. On, um, on the 8-bit system, everything's made in Poland, apparently. <laughs> oh! Um... So there's gonna be there's gonna be issues going forward, but at least we can play the PAL versions. Oh. I'm not dead yet. I'm in a trainer oh. mode. No, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Listen to him. Listen to him. The Bostonian expert here. <laughs> you just love this game. Though. It is. I want to play it. Oh, I know. No, you can't. Nope, not yet. Oh, you're round three. Good stuff. Oh, you probably got some extra lives. When do you get extra lives? Is that 10,000? Seems a bit generous. It should be generous. I think. Let me see. Let's see, walk through. <laughs> Voice alerts. Blast off. Alert, alert. Battle stations. Spy ship sighted. Condition red. I can see how someone who's an expert at this game yeah. would just like breeze through it like and destroy that one and you know like uh, we'll just, see. We'll just see how well I do. Three, two, three, nine, oh. Three, two, three, oh. Go for the space Soon record now. To be beaten. You want some more water? Are you good? I need some I need more water, please, with a tiny bit of ice. Too much okay. ice last time. Okay. So let's put Tanya's name in here. It's very fast, very nice. Tom. And your Brian. Boss going in. Time to destroy. It does sound like alive, alive. Alive, alive. Alive. 
Alive, alive. Alive, alive. When it goes condition red, you're in trouble. Those look good. They're really the blinking of those. Alive, alive. Ooh, almost ran into that guy. Alive, alive. alive. They always position you so you're not even with the uh, the entrance when you start off. It's like, nah, you gotta fly a bit. Alive, alive. I better say alert, alert. People are gonna start thinking it's alive. I like levels. I like going to top levels. But in the arcade, maybe I should pick off the little modules. Because then I would get higher scores, which equals more lives, to deal with the higher levels. Alive, alive. Makes sense. Usually I like going for levels, when there's levels alive, in a game, and not just score. But if it's a score competition, you best be knowing that I would hang around the alive, last alive. module just picking off s ships that come flying at me, and then shoot the last pod. <laughs> good tactic as well is to make sure you clear out your area a little bit before kind of taking out taking on the the enemy bases because you could run into the mines or be forced to run into the mines at least oh well, we'll slow down there where am i oh formation attack there we go I'll just keep it over there for now Toasty. Is it toasty in this room? When you came back it, in? No, everywhere else in the house is cooler than this room right now. That'll be nice after the show. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Open up. Knock, knock, knock. Open up. Knock, 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 knock. See? Yeah, you know that. You know that. I've played enough of this. Oh, yeah. Knock, knock, knock. Yeah, nostalgic. Does it send more enemies more frequently if you linger on a level for a long time? Yes, yes it does. It goes to condition red, and it's you're dead. You're. It's really hard. Yeah. You're so dead on yeah. condition red. Rather than con condition pink. Which so what happens so is that there is a spy ship, which is that. And it, it, it tracks you. If you do not kill it, and it goes off the screen, it goes to condition red. Yeah. And then it's game over for you. Yeah. So you, so you strate strategically have to get the bases, but you also have to make sure these spy planes that are coming after you are killed you as well. You have to kill them. Or, or your time will be very short. Yeah. Yeah. And it's short enough already. That's why you can't really dawdle. Yeah. And yeah. It's not too hard to get the bases, though. For the most part. Mm -hmm. Until you get to the higher levels. Like, you have a lot of bases in this level. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot in this level. So it's probably going to go condition red. Oh, we have a cat showdown. A little bit of a cat fight there. Yeah. Alive, alive. And those mines, when you um, shoot them, mm. actually you can run into the explosion. Yeah, yeah you can die so from them. So don't be too close to them. Yeah. Alive, alive. It's going to close up. Oh my god. Come on. So really, you don't really have a lot of time to shoot all the pods all right. in the higher levels anyway. Alive, alive, battle, oh, slow down. I'm so not used to that. It's the 2600, you just, there is no s slow, things are programmed to slow down. Um, you just have time enough to draw your screen and mm -hmm. then you draw the next screen and draw the next screen. Um, but with um, systems newer than that, it's like you have to calculate things 
And if you don't calculate them in time, it draws the same screen again, because there's a screen buffer. Is that the way it works, I'm guessing? I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what causes the switch from green to yellow? When, when they release the alert, ship. Alert! 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 Um, the bases get hard when they start launching missiles at you. Alert. They start launching missiles the moment yes. you're, you're in their vicinity. Where are the missiles? There haven't been any. Oh, you're right. This is so much easier. That's why. Yeah, there's no missiles in this He's one. not done with this game, then. Oh, maybe. Unless he's not going to do missiles. No treats and cap out today. No, no, no it's one said we're not going to do that. Um... <laughs> But maybe I'll wait until uh, James uh -oh. James might want to do it Spice if he wants to break. Actually, you know what I'll do? He will, he's not going to stop, so. Uh, just going to run out the game. <laughs> Don't block my view. So would you like to hit the bell on the Atari VGS? No, 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 do not. It's the XEGS. Atari, so what did I say? EGS? V VGS. VGS. Video Game System. Or, I don't know what, <laughs> what that stands for. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what that stands for. <laughs> that's like Video Game Summit. That's a Video a, Game Summit. That's like a, a retro gaming expo. Oh, maybe that's where that is from. Too many acronyms. Okay, ready? Are you gonna hit the button? Speaking of Australian, we've been watching Australian Survivor. Yeah. Oh my God, that was deadly. Okay, there are, uh, there, oh my, that's, okay, I'm, it's game over. What? That's way too fast. That's way faster than the arcade. What happened? You don't see, you haven't been paying attention. No, because I've been, in a row. I've been, uh, responding to the cat bells. There you go. Well, that, that wasn't the problem. No? So you're not allowed to bank, uh, extra lives? What's going on? Just Open up. Not. Jesus. Come on. Did you get it? Yeah? Yeah, you hungies? <laughs> Always. Yeah. He has a empty leg. Ready for cat treats to fill up. Oh my god. Nods says, thinking, well, it sounds like an Australian alert, accent. Alert, alert. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about. Australian. There you go. Survivor. Well, we're watching Australians before I was Oh, there's the miss. Holy crap, those are yeah. fast. Yeah, <gasps> deadly. Wow. Jesus. Terrible, terrible death. There you go. Because one of the um, people in my documentary is on Australian uh, Survivor, uh, yeah. Laura Wells. Yeah. So, and she's still on it. She is. She's it's halfway through the season. She keeps almost getting voted off and not getting voted off, which is yeah. amazing. So, good for her. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Round eight. Oh, I think there's only eight. I Not as many. I think yeah. it stopped for a bit. Because the American Survivor does two a year, yeah. which is insane. Because I remember watching the first one in like 2000. Was the first one? Good music. Yeah, that's good. That's not an original. Yeah, you've done quite well, I would say. Me? Yep. All right. So you got the hang of it after a bit. Oh yeah. There you go. I love it. Jesus. Charles Reese loves the kitties. Put some sunglasses on the kitties. Yeah, they um, are good kitties. Yeah, so they're halfway through the season. She's alive, kind of... Alive. It seems like she's playing a low profile... Uh, sort of. Editing-wise, but there's like hints that she's not. Like she's an anta not an antagonist, but she's, she's... I don't know. It's very weird. The way they've edited, like, they hardly ever talk about her. Um, but when they do talk about her, it's like, oh, Laura's grabbing power, or she's a threat. And I'm like, yeah, it's where's weird. that coming from? Um, and she almost got voted off a couple times, but she's still on. She's held on. Yeah, so I'm, I'm I Even she seems that. very shocked by the yes. fact that, that she hasn't been voted off yet. Yes. But they are just about to go to merge a new episode on Sunday, so yeah. Interesting. that'll make her more safe because she was she's next on the chopping block and her team, so they're gonna merge together and she can go incognito again. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, or maybe she'll become more prominent. I mean, you always know if they start paying more attention to someone, you're like, oh, they're getting Giving them more air off. time. <laughs> yeah, 
They're either getting voted off or about to, or almost getting voted they're either off. Do it, they're going for a power grab or they're going, getting voted off. Yeah. Or they're getting an idol. Immunity idol. Anyway, anybody who doesn't watch yeah. Survivor is like, what are yeah. you talking about? But it's funny because I haven't watched it for decades. We watched it together. At least one season. Did we? Oh, I think we watched one beginning. season, but I can't say I've watched it in a long time. And then we didn't watch it because it's just the same formula it's over the same, and over. It's the same thing. So but it's, it's kind of interesting to revisit it. and like Because if, if you know somebody that's on it, it's oh. way more interesting. Oh, yeah. Because she's in my documentary someone, and we've filmed with her for years. Yeah, you have someone to root for in a way. Oh. And I've listened to hours and hours and hours of, of footage from her. So I know all her, the way she talks. Yeah. The way she expresses herself, what she's like almost feeling inside the way, based on her expressions. Like when you know somebody and it's almost, you have to get that ship, get that ship. It's going to be death for you. Oh, oh no. Oh shit. Oh, he's still on the screen. I was like, why didn't it go to red? Oh, there's a bug. It didn't go to red. It had. Oh. It should have gone to red. Maybe just because it's a lower level. Lower level. No. But, but there's two more on. Th I thought I killed everything. Oh, I'm confused. Nope. Now. You missed the spy ship. Yeah, I know, but that's weird. And it didn't go to red, so that's a bug. Let's see, there you killed the spy ship, but you missed it. He ran off. Unless he was so. just on the border of the screen. And I maybe hit him. Barely. No. Nah, uh, maybe. As he was leaving, that's a possibility. <gasps> I ran into. I wonder how much reality TV is real. Zero. That much. That much. That much is real. Because yeah. they have... It's it, all manipulated by the producers. Well, if they, it is. They, they manufacture drama uh, yeah. on the on the ones where it's like personalities, that's all scripted. Um, you can go on Reddit and read lots of threads about people who edited the, edited the shows and stuff. On things like Survivor, they're able to manipulate it so I, uh, in a ways that you don't need to like give them scripts. Where you can, you can kind of uh, well, they manipulate with the, uh, the with the idols, right? Because they can place the idols and give them to people, not give them to people, but put them in a way that that person's going to find it. Because they everybody's followed with cameras, right? Yeah. At all times. So there's people there that you never see that are always there. So there's going to be an assistant with the camera person. They're always listening to what drama's going on. So like, oh, okay, somebody's doing this. Ugh. Or the, they're in trouble. They're about to be kicked off. We like them. Bradley Cutie Kona. I'm going to pronounce your name that way. <laughs> Even if that's not how it is. Um, Braddy Cutie Kona, thank you for following. Glad you liked the uh, show. Um, so they're always listening because when it comes to the tribal council where they're going to kick off the next person, the host of the show knows everything. They know what buttons to push with people. It's like, well, what do you think about this thing? How is your tribe going? Is there any infighting? Blah, blah, blah. And the questions they say are so specific. They're very scripted. And they talk to the just the right people. So while the show's going on, they're like, okay, who gets the ratings? Who's the most interesting and full of drama? And, and they keep them on. And they keep them around by, oh, there's an idol. There's oh, an idol for you. Yeah. There's an idol for you. But I think they were thwarted this time because somebody who had two idols got kicked off. Yeah, because they thought they were safe and people weren't going to vote them off. <laughs> and they all conspired against him. All of them. <laughs> all of them. The whole group. It was hilarious. Because he Poor blabbed. Poor dude. He blabbed he had two idols and everyone went, Oh, You're no, gone. we have to get him off. You're gone. Sorry, stupid reality TV show blabbing. Well, it's no, it's not. It's interesting. It's it's. Yeah. Again, I remember again when it w originally came on TV, and it was like such a cool thing, and then you just kind of go, oh yeah, it's the same thing, over and over again. You you lose interest. <laughs> so it's it's interesting yeah. to go back to something like that. Oh, oh you ran right into it. I, and I'm interested in it from a. A filmmaking perspective how they well they craft a story out of these people yeah how they kind of edit it you they, know it's, they focus it's, on certain it's people really interesting oh, i mean they terrible. have the luxury of of retrospective editing it's not real time of course it's way afterwards because laura's already home and commenting on all this they bring them back i think live for the reunion yeah but they're all done the whole season or most of the season already um, 
so they can go back and go, okay, this person gets kicked off, this person makes a power move, we're going to focus on those two people in episode one, mm -hmm. and then... Our there? fallout vaults, yes! They are a secret, some kind of psych social experiment. Yes, they are. Yeah, I agree with that. They are manipulated. What? Fallout vaults? Like the fallout vaults, where yes. each one is like a social experiment. Yes. Uh, right. So it's kind of like that's what Survivor is. They're like these little mini social experiments. I, I mean, Big uh, Big Brother took that to the extreme, where they're literally in just in one house. They don't go anywhere, which was very interesting at the beginning. Now it's just silliness. Because um, I was at a nine to five kind of job when. Um, Big Brother came on mm. uh, the air, mm. and that's when they had live feeds, 24 hours a day live feeds on the internet. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you could just watch everything, everything yeah. that ever happened, and we just kept it on on our um, our iMac. Is that what it was called? iMac, yeah. The colored ones? Yeah. With the CRTs? I think so, yeah. Is that what they're called? iMac? iMac? Yeah. Anyway, it was that one. So that was our Big Brother TV. It was just going all the time, 24 hours a day. So you just had the Big Big Brother live feed on? Yep, just going oh, all the time. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh -huh. so, so it's just funny. What's interesting, I was listening to a podcast today that was all about how pollution might affect people's cognitive abilities. Oh, but it's so smoky here. It, yeah, so and I was thinking smoky it's insanely here. smoky here right now, so my cognitive ability is impaired. That's my excuse. Okay. Um, but, the wine has nothing to do with it. But someone did a study, and I didn't know this, but the game Luminosity which is this game that people download and they play oh. and they're like, it's supposed to increase your intelligence and like, it's like all these little mini games uh, to get better at that, luminosity. that, that it's measure, better. that measure your ability, like in different areas things. to do certain things. Anyway, this company com sells all the data they have they to researchers and to free, anyone who wants to pay. If right? it's free, then yeah, they're selling. It's your... not free. You pay for it, Oh, what? but you probably opt in to selling to, to, to your data. So someone did this long-term study l because there's millions of people who play uh, these games. All over the world. And they looked at their location and the pollution levels day to day at their location to see if their intelligence scores changed. That's amazing. And they found links between air pollution and cognitive ability in people depending on where they lived and how bad the pollution was that day. Wow. And wow. I was like... That's cool and also well, it's crazy. <laughs> it's, well, it's confirmation. It's like, confirmation, and and there's this study apparently is being published, so it's not. Um, so it hasn't go, been peer reviewed yet. Yeah. But you you hear that and you go, yeah, this is what video gaming, like those those kinds of games, they get so much data from people. Yeah. And and it's just really interesting that they can they data, can make yeah. those links. Um, so I just had to mention that it was really interesting <laughs> talking about social experiments. What was I gonna say? Yeah, no, I I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. It was um, on the Freakonomics podcast, so it was very interesting. Anyway, it's super smoky here today. Like, not super, but it's very smoky. Yeah, it's not good. It was, it's been on and off. Like we're in the Pacific Northwest, and there's a lot of fires up and down the West Coast oh, and in the really interior bad. of interior of our, our province. Yeah, it's been um, in the the international news about Lytton, that that town that burned to literally the ground. burned to the well, ground. Well, now there's one in the U.S. that burned to the ground too. Well, so it, they don't talk about sadly. Sadly, there's too many places having that issue right now. But, yeah, um, it but, is the apocalypse outside. There oh, is, it's red sun. There and is the whole disease. Thing. There alive, is alive. fires burning the earth to the ground, and it's red sky and smoke in the air. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, alive, at least two alive. of the four horsemen have arrived. Uh, <laughs> the apocalypse. Two of the four. Yeah, we've got disease, and oh, there is none for fires, and. Anything. Plagues? There's, pestilence? There's plagues. We don't have plagues. We don't what have... do we have plague? We have a plague right now. Oh, yeah. Plagues? Pestilence? We don't have bugs. Bugs, no. We could say the fire is burning the crops. Because that's what they're worried about, the pestilence. No, famine. 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 Yeah, we don't have famine up here. Mm -hmm. But we will, because all the all the food can't be grown. Because this this is not too... a very, very happy discussion we're having right now. Well... But I know what you it's mean. It's 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 it's, it's a little bad right now here. So yeah. And soon we'll be in our spaceships fighting off aliens, <laughs> just yeah. to top it off. 
I like Captain Classic. Most public pub, published research is wrong, and he has a link. There is a truth <laughs> to that. No, it, there is a truth to that. You have to have confirmation. Yeah. So you can publish a study, but oh, if yeah. you if it's not confirmed, you really shouldn't just accept it. No, there's so much published. Stuff and and unfortunately, like... there's a big issue in research where people don't want to do the confirmation research because it's not as flashy and nice for a scientist to confirm an you don't existing get result. You don't get headlines. You get headlines when you announce it. Yeah, and that's a big problem. Come on. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. That's right. Oh, speaking of that, the new Ghostbusters does... The new trailer for the new Ghostbusters gives me more hope. Yeah. Uh, makes it look better. It still looks oh, like... Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Oh, it has sorry. a bit of a Stranger Things vibe to it. Yeah. Stranger Things vibe. Yeah. Um, plus it has... Um, oh, God. The M actor. Millie? Sorry? Millie? Millie something? No, 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 no. It? The male actor. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dan Aykroyd, who's insane. Not Dan Aykroyd. <sighs> Who then? Uh, the one who never ages. Oh, uh, Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. Yeah, yeah. yeah Paul I'll Rudd's watch awesome. anything Paul Rudd's. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, I still, I still, frequently go back to the um, Dead or Alive video that he did with. Um, if you haven't seen that, watch it Jimmy right after Fallon. this. Jimmy Fallon. Oh God. If you it's haven't just seen so good. Spin Me Round. Spin Me. By Jimmy Fallon and Paul Rudd. It is the and watch the YouTube where they, they show the two videos side by after, side. After. They just do a beautiful job. of. <laughs> it is frame for frame perfect. It is so good. Oh, I just, if I need, if I need a boost, you know, because the apocalypse is coming, <laughs> I a, watch Paul Rudd <laughs> yeah. and uh, Jimmy Fallon. It's one of the greatest things uh, ever made. Yeah. Captain Classic, a particle accelerator, proton pack is not a toy, then give it to kids. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, Veritasium has a good video going over the problem of published published research. We watch a lot of Veritasium oh, actually. We're big channel. fans of that show. Yeah. Um, not being Jesus. reproducible. Mm. Yeah. And and the reproducibility is really God really damn it. um essential. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, you're you're not. You're doing ah, good. they're shooting each other. They should be able to kill ah, each other. They should. If you can kill me. Come on, there. You have yeah. to shoot the bullet, yeah, then that, that stay on missile it. missile is quite fast, because the missile in the regular Bostonian much, is much a little slower. bit... There's a bit more of a delay, and you can see it coming. You can dodge it pretty much. Much slower. But yeah. I've, I've gotten used to it. Oh, so. it's fast, man. I just have to... It does go straight. It's not a heat-seeking yeah, one. Yeah, thank goodness. Oh, yeah, the heat-seeking ones are... Nice. Yellow. nice. This is the level I died on. The D train has arrived. Well, what did I miss? <laughs> All the caps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he didn't even read your chat. Uh, welcome to the D train. Everything. Except for this. Yeah. I was oh, off a bit. I was the off. missile. Oh, missile death. death. Missile death. death. Oh, good job. I think. <laughs> the D train. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Uh, Lots of good stuff. Lots of good 8 bit uh, homebrew. Yeah. Alive. 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 <laughs> Get rid of that. There we go. And shoot it. Yeah, that's what you have to do. That's, Wait for that's it. what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's how you do it. Wait for it and then go in. Uh -oh. Formation. Oh, come on. There we go. You have to shoot the head um, dude in the formation and they'll all um, spin off. The D train, oh, I'm just... glad to hear you're between semesters. That's nice. That's oh, a good. nice break. Nice break. So much work. So much work. Mm. Oh, I made it past round eight. Jesus. That's so that was hard. Mm -hmm. So I take it back. Oh. Oh, why? Now I'm down alive. Oh, so many bullets. Stop it. Okay, you're getting pod killed. It just took too long. Alive, alive. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'm right in the center. I'm going to kill the bullet and then kill it. You have to be right in the center. Mm. Alive, alive. So. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. So I know this isn't retro gaming, but I'm That's a fine. big fan of the Dragon Age series of oh, RPGs. Yeah. And I tend to like a lot of fantasy and science fiction literature mm. and um the author's name well i i'm reading a, f a few books by a certain author and I, I was enjoying them 
damn it. Oh. And then uh, I read one series, and I'm into the next one, and oh, Kingfisher is the last name of the author. Um, but I found out, I was reading up about the author, and I found out that the books that I'm reading are actually Dragon Age fan fiction. Oh, well, <laughs> and I was like, go. well, there sense. you go. <laughs> Makes sense then, I guess. <laughs> um, not exactly like the same characters or anything like that, but ah! it's designed to be a very similar world as the RPG. It's too close. Uh, and so I kind of laughed when I found out about that. Are I was like, that's of, why I enjoy it. Are that's there any funny. official Dragon Age novels? I'm, I'm sure there, there are. might be. I've never, I, I tend not to read official novels I'm of sure things. Then. Um, if it's the same characters and same world, but, you'd be more but familiar I, with it. I mean, it's it's well enough written that I'm enjoying the books. So I, I tend to, what I tend to do is I find an author that I enjoy, and I try to read as much as possible from that author. And so I was enjoying um, one series they put together, and I'm moved on to another. So, is there a big market for A800 games? I get the feeling that the 2600 sales would likely be 10 to 20 times bigger, says Captain Classic. Yeah. Uh, homebrew AI 800, I should say. Okay. Hey, what? Homebrew AI? A what? AI 800. They're probably just comparing 8 bit to. 2600. Oh. Um, a lot of 8 bit games are released for free. Mm. I notice. T Kingfisher, yeah, I feel And the, so. the thing is, I think it's because they are on computers and some need to be distributed on discs. It's just. It's harder to do, maybe? You'd think yeah. it'd be easier. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know enough about the 8 bit. Anyway, Crossbow just watched the Paul Rudd and Fallon uh, reboot, and he says, okay, that was pretty funny. Yeah, it is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, that video from the 80s is just classic it's, anyway. It is. It's it is just, cheesy just and hilarious. cheese, 80s cheese, but like, Paul Rudd, man. Yeah, I don't so know. Good. He's so funny. Huh. How are you doing? Oh, you're Zed in level. level Z. Level Z. I don't have any lives left. Old World War Z. Um, Captain Classic, I read Splinter in the Mind's Eye. Jesus, they're so fast. After the Star Wars oh, movies, God. it wasn't bad. Hmm. I, I remember reading a bit of Star Wars, uh, at least one Star Wars book, I think. But generally, I haven't kind of gone for that. But I, was, I just found it funny that I'd read the whole series, uh. not realizing it was fan fiction that was look at this look at the score not bad you should play it it's no no you okay no yeah, I'm, you're done that was a long slog <laughs> it was a long slog it yeah. was a good score though yeah it's not gonna say yeah so. level 10 is a z it is good one to end on our levels 11 and 12 p and h <laughs> yes we were thinking it ahead should be. Mm -hmm. final version 1.5 Ooh, final nice. um you know, I think it's well done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Those missiles are pretty tough. I'm going to try something. Okay. I'm going to not shoot the spy ship. No? I'm just going to avoid the spy ship. See if it... Well, it may be at the earlier around. levels it doesn't cause it a... It does. Are you sure? Yes. It does. You just want it to hit red? I just... Because it didn't. <laughs> you, you, you drew him into a mine. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. You can. Okay. They don't. They don't hit those. No, but they don't. They they can get shot by those bullets though. Can they? Oh yeah. Oh. Watch. I'll track those bullets. Come on. Protect me, bullets. It's my personal bullet. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Over here. Over here, bullet. Uh, oh, the bullets can hit the rocks, too. Oh, there goes my bullet. Let's hang around here. <gasps> Don't die. I want to go con condition red. You have to stay around the bases, I think. Think so? Yeah, I okay. think you do because they release the spy ships when you're around them. Mm. I mean, maybe they. I don't think you so. go to condition... Go condition red anyway. Red anyway, but I feel like you're... There you go. But there was no spy There's ship. red. There's red. There's no spy ship, though. No, there mm. wasn't. Maybe it's just via, based on time, then. Mm. Maybe that's how they have it. No, you have to kill the spy ship. Do you? 
See how many guys are after you? It's a pain in the ass. It's not too bad on this level. Yeah, you are this, on level this one. This is easier than the arcade. Yeah. Really? Except for the bullets from the uh, bases. Those bullets are way mm -hmm. fast in this game. Maybe we have to get to a higher level. I really... There's no spice. It looks really good. Those bases look amazing. Round so. 10. Good gaming. Thank you very much. Yeah. It looks great. I wish... This was a PAL system, or we had an NTSC yes. version. Yes, yeah, yeah. But uh, we'll get there eventually. Yeah. Okay, so we'll leave it with one ship, one base, and I'll hang around that base for a spy ship. And I won't shoot, because I might accidentally kill it. <laughs> Which is the spy ship, the orange one? No, you'll see it. It's 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 yellow. Yeah, but it's it's kind of bigger, right? It's chunkier. Yeah. It'll it'll tell it on the screen too. It'll uh, warn you. Like spy ship sighted. Mm. I think it says. <laughs> if you do not have this joystick we're playing with, buy this joystick we're playing with. It is hands down. Oh, it's awesome. The best joystick, and it works on seventy eight hundred, twenty six hundred. Because it has got it's got two buttons, mm. so it's got the two buttons for the seven eight hundred. Both buttons work for twenty six hundred and eight bit. Um, what is it? Mm. It is the, the bratwurst. bratwurst joystick, and he has a forum post where you can find all about it. Uh, when condition red does again? He, does he have a website at all? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's just done through email. Maybe it's on level three. It hasn't even shown up. Because mm. you made it to level three. You so on the Atari ship. Age forums is, is Yeah, look for saying. Bratwurst. Bratwurst. And Bratwurst, then yeah. Joystick. Yeah. Or if somebody can link it. It is great. It's so I, nice. I have to say, I complain a lot about controllers and joysticks. I really, really like it. I, I like this one, I think, better than the, um, the big dual stick one. Well. It's more comfortable for me. Yeah. yeah, I mean the dual stick I bought for dual stick. Yeah, games. and that's fine. Yeah. yeah, that's that's totally. But valid. for <laughs> smallness, lightness, oh, it's, it's so great. Um, it's, it's nice on your lap. Um, it's very. There we go. There's the spy ship. Okay, so he's I'm gonna let to go him go. The Nothing. No. No. You think it's a level, or you think they just have it set so that you just hit condition red after a certain amount of time? Oh, oh. you killed him. Jesus. Good job. <laughs> He'll come back. I have an old craft joystick. It was my favorite. Craft. Mm. Don't know that one. Yeah, RC70. My five-year-old cannot use the originals. I have to get oh. something better. Oh, they're this terrible. This would be a good one. Yeah. I can't stand the originals. They gave me yeah. so much pain in the 80s, and I tried to never use them. Yeah. Because I had a uh, Commodore 64, so I had other joysticks already. Yes. So I... I the only time I used them literally was in the 80s because there was when it when it was just first out or you know a couple of years after. Yeah. Just like the issue. So I think there is a an issue with the spy ship mm. in this. Micro switches for all the directions button. Yep. Mm. Uh, no That's micro the craft. switches. On, oh. that, they were saying the craft. There's no micro switches on the buttons. Yeah. Oh, it just gets clicky. Anyway, that was my experiment. I'm going to have to look right. at the arcade, uh, look at the instructions all right, all right. of how the spy ship... Actually, I've still got the instructions up. Do you want one more game, or are you no, good? No, I'm good, I think. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All games today. Awesome, awesome, oh, awesome. Yeah. Excellent, excellent oh. games today. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, Pixel. So, Pixel. let's see. Red Condition. Red Condition, you have been spotted by a spy ship... Or have remained on the stage for too long. There you go. Spy ship. So, but maybe maybe the early levels you don't get the spy ship. That d doesn't become an issue, maybe. Memory test. Yeah, memory test. Has a built-in memory test. Mm. Um, yeah, on the early ones, maybe there is no spy ship on level one and two. That might be it. Um, let's see. Let me go to how to play. Maybe it has it here. Yeah, spy ship. Identifying and destroying spy ships is especially important. If a spy ship sees you and manages to get away, you will typically end up in a red alert scenario. Mm. So it doesn't say for sure. 
if you miss a spy ship the first time you notice it, don't worry. It'll typically pull a 180 and do another run or two past you. Don't let it get away during this time. Okay, okay. So, not necessarily what we said. Yeah. Uh, so, he sa it says it comes on the screen, it goes away, and then it comes back again. Mm. And that's when you don't miss it. You have to, ki you have you to, have kill, to kill it, it the then. second time. It's so on higher levels, it moves around faster, and you go to condition red faster. Mm. Mm. Hey, so, Nancy. today we played Peril. So very, very great version of it uh, for the Atari 8-bit. Um, it's not done yet. Mm -hmm. uh, he hasn't made a comment about it in a long time. He might have forgotten about it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I, I said I was going to play it on the show today, so... He's, he's in the audience. Oh, is he? Yeah, he, po oh, he posted once. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 No, oh, he's cool. there. He's he's around. You know what he said? Uh, what He commented on something. But I did see him pop up at one point. Uh, pilotish guy. Pilotish guy. Okay. There you go. That's it. That's yeah. all he said. That's all he said. But he, he is around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, really, really good version. Yep. It's, it... Can... Vlad is bu busy with pilotish guy. That's yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> um, RGB. Yeah. It'd probably be better if my colors were proper, but a very good puzzle game. Makes you want to play it more and figure out, oh, what sequence you have to do. I, those, so those bubble-headed robots mm -hmm. just just give me nostalgia for Impossible Mission or miss, Mission Impossible. Impossible Mission. Impossible Mission. With the black balls that come after you? That float No, down. no, no, no. No, uh, Impossible Mission 2. Oh, 2. Had, I never had robots that. with the, bu the bubble heads. Nice. So uh, it reminds me of that. But, yeah. Uh, 8, 17. That would be Tuesdays. Yeah. Oh, nothing announced. No. <laughs> to be determined yet. What is the best show? What is the best show? Mm. Um, yeah, we'll get to that. Um, and Bosconian. Very, very good port. Very mm. good port mm. for the Atari 8 bit. Um, just like the 2600 one, excellent port. Recommend either of them. Um, yeah, for the next show, nothing is determined. I was hoping to do a 2600 show next because uh, I've done one because nothing's been put out. It's so slow in 2600 land right mm. now. But you know, you you uh, reach out into the other uh, yeah. That's why I have Atari uh, systems. Yeah. Let's see. There's lots there. It's so. been a bu bunch of updates mm. to games, and we played them too recently. It's just too hot to program right now. There's always a lull in the summer. Yeah. And an especially hot summer now, uh, yeah. this year. So people are, their minds are not on. And it. we just got out of this COVID scenario where everyone was stuck at home, and there was so much programming. And now going people on. want to go. Yeah, there's tons. There was this tons. Spring, you should see, see the list for. Yeah, and so everyone things. just kind of went. I need to kind of get outside for a little yeah. bit, you know. <laughs> I think that's totally understandable. Like, so huge, massive, list massive for amounts work in progress and completed. Like oh massive. yeah, yeah. Of the toko, I'll PM you. <laughs> I've got the goods. If you've got stuff, we will we yes. will distribute it. Yes. Definitely, we'll, yep. <laughs> we'll play it on the show if you've got the goods, or at least advertise it. Montezuma. Ooh. Somebody remaking Montezuma. Montezuma. Hmm. I why. It's so good on the 2600. Is it? It's so good. It's yeah. one of the best platformers. Oh. Classic platform. It's a huge world. It plays amazingly. It's so complex. Mm. It's it's astounding, that game on the 2600. Mm -hmm. uh, or are you talking about the disease? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that haven't, hasn't ravaged the land yet. No. Um, or are you talking about a different Montezuma? Uh, yeah, that's a classic game we play. Homebrew. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a very good game. Mm. Um, so, oh, let me go to my uh, what's coming up list. Let it load. It's a very big list. Uh, on Friday, we're going to be playing 7,800 games, including Bonk and Plum Luck and one more game. I don't think there's any Activision patches. No, not for 8,800. 8, 800. Otherwise, I would play um, mm. for patches. There are patches for C64 from Activision. Yeah. There's patches for Intellivision for uh, Activision games. There are Imagic patches, patches, 
for Atari 2600. They're crazy high points. Mm. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do any of them. They're, they're insane. They didn't want to give away their patches. Um, I'm over halfway through the Activision patches. I've done all the easy ones. <laughs> um, and then next, not this Tuesday, but the Tuesday after, we're going to be playing Adam is Me. Um, it's a very cool puzzle-ish game. It's, um, I would describe it as a logic puzzle game. Ooh. A, um, I like those. <laughs> what, you move square to square, and there's logic puzzles to solve, oh, I but love there's those. also, I don't know if there's action in it. There might be a bit of action. It's, it's very interesting. Yeah. Cats are anything like Baba is you. Um, maybe it might be a play on that mm. where you have to spell out, uh, you have blocks where you go, like Adam is me. And then you can say block, like boulder is me and all the boulders move. Like you push things around and then you say like rocket is ready or game mm. is, game is done or it's very, very interesting the way it works. Hmm. Like you're spelling out things with blocks nice. and making things work. And you do, you can do multiple combos as well of the spellings. Like two things can be oh, you. I'm excited and you by move that. two things at once at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Baba is you. I'm going to look that up. Because it might be a, a port of Baba is you. Award winning puzzle games where you can change the rules by which you play. It is exactly that. Mm. Yeah, that's the one. So it's a port of Baba is You. Or Baba is You is a port of Adam is Me. I mean, this was put out in 2019. I oh, think wow. Adam is You is, is older than that. Well, that's Adam Lambert. <laughs> we don't need to show that. No. <laughs> is a puzzle game. Uh, cats are crossing their tails anything like crossing the proton streams I hope not it's dangerous sometimes their yeah. claws will come out yeah <laughs> oh no Adam is me came out after a year after so you know if it was these cats versus Slimer these cats would win I'm just putting that out there <laughs> <laughs> they have good height when they jump they could oh, jump you up should in the see air. you should see pixel swipe. he can he can jump up to the mantle above our fireplace from the he can. He did can. He do that? Oh, he did. I mean, he, he doesn't anymore. Oh, I I think he's still good. <laughs> um, he's pretty spry. Oh, it's come down a bit in temperature, twenty eight point five. <gasps> but I was planning on doing um. Uh, uh, um extended show tonight. Were you? Yeah. Uh, after dark. After dark, but it's too hot today. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit much. It's a bit much. Just Sorry. Gonna do a patch or something from the um, patch game. I think up here. we need to turn these lights off. Yeah. Although the cats don't seem to mind. They don't care. Yeah. I don't know which one I want to do next. Maybe enduro. That enduro. Might be fun. Yeah, yeah. a Is car racing, racing game. Mm. I'll have to look up um, a video on how long it takes to get the patch. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the long ones for last. Like laser blast takes. Well, it's not too bad. It's about 25 minutes. That's a Laser long, blast. that's a long haul, though. Some, some of them take that long that we've yeah. done already. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's what's coming up. A Enduro, yes, Charles Whelan says. Yeah. yeah. So let's, let's see what, actually, we can take a look and see how, what you need for Enduro. So you need five days for Enduro. Uh, and let's see somebody's patch for Enduro. Enduro patch, 2600. Long play, Enduro, blah, blah, blah. Nobody specifically. Oh, there we go, 2600. Enduro and Oink patches, and they did both in 38 minutes. So... Let's see. When do they start? They start right away. It's Oyama family. He's really good. Oh, yeah. So he stops playing in Juro. It's a half an hour. Mm. Okay. Of course, if you screw up, you have to reset. <laughs> mm. Oh, maybe he just went for a long. Let's see. Eight, Laser Blast was seven. the latest video in the Atari Chrono Gaming series. 
Oh, no, no, no. Get the overlay and master spaceship. You got to level five. You have to complete five? Complete well, if you five? have to complete five, it took him 18 minutes. Oh, I see. If you just have to get to five... Then it's not so bad. Then it is 15 minutes. Okay. We'll, we'll do Enduro next. That doesn't that's sound a fun, terrible. It's a fun racing game. Yeah. Yep. They look like little spiders on the screen. <laughs> the, the cars? Little, little racing spiders, yeah. Put in a request for two of those, those two controllers. Hopefully they're still selling them. Oh, yeah. RC70, you won't be disappointed. Oh, We're so extremely good. happy with them. And he, um, he drops in from time to time yeah. to the show. And he hasn't said they're sold out, so they should be. Yeah. Yeah. Great show. Good to see the 8-bit Atari games. Nobody's complained about the 8-bit games yet. <laughs> and I like playing them. Reminds yeah. me of C64 level games. Oh, I know. It's the I same know. processor. Um, yeah. It's got a nice sound chip in it. So they're about the same. Yeah. Graphically wise and playable wise. Would you would you um, alienate your audience if we played some C64 okay. games? I mean, I wouldn't alienate them, but they'd be like, yeah. I don't know. I want your opinion on that. That's mm. my era of gaming. So, no. It would be a different thing. It would be an after dark. Or it, something. it would be. It would be my streaming be channel. A, <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, you can play anything you want. I know. On it. I'm sure there's a there's a <laughs> well there is a massive C64 homebrew community. Oh, so it's, it's big. I would love oh to just God. play some of my there's nostalgic some, games from the C64. There's some so. good C64 yeah. homebrew. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some yeah. nice platformers. There's this, this this pig one that got released recently. Oh yeah. I think yeah. I showed you some video of yeah, that. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Platform the the graphics and the animation on it are so gorgeous. Just yeah. gorgeous on yeah. it. Yeah. Um, really good. So yeah. there's a huge C64 homebrew scene. Mm. Yeah. It depends. I, I'm sticking with the Atari. That's no, no, enough for me. I'm not saying. I'm just saying that that no. was my system. That was my early system. Oh, it was for up. me too. Yeah, 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 both of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if I didn't do Atari, I probably would have done a C64, a C64 homebrew yeah. thing. Yeah. But this, the 2600 is my is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. That, no, that's fair. Yeah. I, I don't have the time to organize a channel, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, come on. I'm not going to do it for you, to, so. Someone has to work and pay for all this. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> so hot. It is so hot. <laughs> that's why we're ending the show right now. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for tuning in, everyone. We're going to be back on Tuesday, unless we do an impromptu show, which is unlikely because mm -hmm. it's so hot right now. Yeah. Uh, and it's hot in the room because of the lights. Chrono Gaming is a great series. Chrono Gaming, Sid Stellar, did Stellar Track before that? Oh, they're on a different tangent. <laughs> <laughs> linking, linking things. Yeah. What did okay. they link? Have a snow cone. Oh, a snow cone. Oh, are they that linking us? Oh, Atari series. Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, yeah, I watched the last episode of, of this. He oh, just finished. Ubersaurus? His... Is that the person uh, who posted it? He posted it. Oh, the I see. new video. I don't know if that's his Steeplechase. name. Uh -huh. Oh, no, I went. That's him. Yeah. Yeah, I just watched the last of his show he did all mm. the all the atari 2600 ones mm. is that what he, is somebody said um i can't remember anyway we're getting way off topic but i do watch that, that channel i watch a lot of channels maybe we'll go through them one day all the gaming channels i watch mm. um so have a good night uh everyone have a good weekend mm -hmm. and uh we will see you on uh Tuesday, but not before I say all the names that stuck around. Nostalgic 26, Charles Reese, Vitoko, The D-Train, Captain Classic, Crossbow, RC70, Charles Whelan, Nodzif, yeah. Marco Johannes, uh, Vitoko, uh, D-Train, yeah. RC70, uh, um. Charles Reese, mm -hmm. Oh, and Lots I of scroll way back <laughs> for new Lots names. Of Lots of chatties. Atari 2600, dude. Oh, yeah, Carl G's in Carl there. G. Splendid Nut. Dan ABC. VH ZC. VHZC. Thank you so much. Yes. Anyone? Uh, well, glad you enjoyed the show. Yes, Nod, thank you. Nods. Nods. That's too many uh, consonants Nods. in a row. Nods. 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 That's, a, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Nods like F. Nods F. Or just nods. <laughs> nods is good. Nods. Um, so we will see you on Tuesday. Yes. Have a good weekend, yeah. everyone. Everyone, stay everyone. cool. Yes, stay cool. Yeah. Stay out of the fires. Run away from the fires. I ran away from okay. the fires. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>